And we are back. This is going to be a stream of Arcade Archives, which is the selection of games that are on the Nintendo Switch. Um, maybe not just Arcade Ar Archives, because there's, there's other stuff, too. Um, I mean, a lot of the stuff I have here is Arcade Archives, but... There's like Capcom Beat 'em Up Bundle and the Atari Flashback Classics. What else do we have? I think like the Dragon Blaze. I think like that. Some of these like aren't part of the arcade archives, but oh, like here's another one: Namco Museum. So there's like collections by different companies. These this uh, Psycho Shooting Stars, you know, one that's those are arcade games, but on different collections of Asara collection. So we have all these different collections, but uh, we're gonna be playing. Uh, a lot of these arcade archives, and if, as we're going through this, if you know of other, you know, old arcade games that are on the Switch that I don't have that you think I should have, let me know. But, uh, yeah, so we're gonna play some video games, aren't we? Uh, and look at some of these games, like Van Dyke, Ninja Kazan, uh, Sea Fighter, Poseidon. This one here, this Pirate Pete, this is a... Uh, this is like a new ver n not not new, but like new at the time. You know, uh, it, there was Jungle King and Jungle Hunt and all that, and then they made this a little bit later because I think they they thought that Jungle Hunt was kind of like a Tarzan ripoff because he's like swinging on vines. So instead, uh, I think it was Taito. Let's put this on. Uh, they made this Pirate Pete. So they kind of improved upon Jungle Hunt and then made it pirate themed. So. Kind of, uh, kind of interesting. Let's check it out. Taito, yeah, it is Taito. What's up, boobs? Wolfmaster, how you doing? Joshua. But up, but up, but bump. Hi, no Pio. What's going on? Yeah. Let's see if I can figure out the buttons. So as you can see, obviously a, oh, crap. Okay, a jungle hunt wannabe, I was gonna say. Oh, what do you have to push forward with it? Sorry, I'm not used to these controls. Maybe you have to hit forward with it. There, like that. Oh, yeah, it's a little different than what I'm used to with jungle hunt. Get it? Fuck. Come on. I'm gonna do this again. Come on, I can get through this. Hi, repeat. Nice. Nice. We got some subs coming in. We'll look at that in a second. We gotta get to the important things first. Hi, repeat. Hi, repeat. Come on. Ooh. No! Come on, Pirate Pete. There you go. Mm, there you go. And we're in. Thank you, Kayla Kilgannon. It's one thing with this. I don't think I can pause. Can I? Oh, I, oh my god, I can. Uh, thank you, Kayla Kilgannon. Thank you very much for the sub. Artemidorius. Cause 1973 Onyx and William Patrick and Integral all sub. Thank you very much. Appreciate that support. Damn Smee. It is that. It is Smee, isn't it? How do I get back to it? There. Oh, if that ever sounded like a fart in a video game, I don't know what did. Oh, there you go. Oh, it, when he's swimming up top. That's when you get your air back. Oh, no, 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 jellyfish? Or is that bubbles? Nice. I feel like killing the sharks and stuff is easier in this. They might have made that a little more forgiving than in Jungle King, Jungle Hunt. So you got, like, piranhas and sharks and shit. I like they keep the same theme. Snake up there. 
Now, are these gonna change in size? See, the snake wasn't there originally, I don't think. So I grew up with the Atari 2600 version of Jungle Hunt. And I did play the, uh, I remember the first time seeing it be called Jungle King in the arcade. I was like, what the fuck? Why is it not Jungle Hunt? But then there was one called Jungle Hunt in the arcade. But yeah, the, uh, the 2600 version was the one I knew about and played as a little kid. Because it was the home port. And that's, you know, kind of neat that now, you know, these arcade games are on Switch. And in 2021, here you go. You got a home port of the some of these actual arcade games. And I wish that they would port more games. I mean, to be honest with you, though, they, there is a lot of games in the arcade archives. So I really can't complain. But there's certain things that I wish they would still get. Like, they don't have the Simpsons arcade game. They don't have Mr. Do. I want them to get Mr. Do. Sinistar. Oh, I'm supposed to grab the girl. I jumped into the... I've never done this part before. Oh my god. Oh my god, you bastard. Am I dead? Motherfucker. Should I do it again? One more? Let's do one more. If it'll let me. I don't care about the online scores. We're gonna do it again. Bad luck, monkey sub, JT lock sub, we got a hype train going, lightning bolt sub, Prince Adam's uncle sub, look at all these subs coming, thank you guys for the support here as I play stupid old arcade games here on Twitch. I saw the arcade, but only played the home port. Oh, you saw the machine, Joshua? It's my birthday train. Oh, we got a birthday train going. Yeah, so my birthday was uh, like a week ago now. I took a vacation. Cyber K's, thank you very much for the sub. And it's Dave Moron, 518 subbed. Yeah, so I went to California for a week. Uh, if you want to see, I posted some pictures. I did a lot of uh, uh, visiting of... Uh, Hollywood locations. I went to the Nightmare on Elm Street house. I went to the um, where else did I go? I went to Nightmare on Elm Street house. I went to I went to Cobra Kai, the original dojo from the original movie. I think there's a new location for the new Cobra Kai, like you know, in the new Netflix show. But I went to the original one from the '80s movie. Uh, which is in, like, North Hollywood? Or is it basically in Hollywood? A lot of the stuff is just in Hollywood. And then I went to... Um, uh, I went to the Halloween house. Michael Myers' house. And uh, right around the same area as the Pee Wee Herman house, which I tried to go to years ago. And it was, like, 6, 7 o'clock. And I remember walking over to the Pee Wee Herman house from Pee Wee's Big Adventure... Pee-wee's Playhouse was filmed, like, on a set, but the one from the movie, Pee-wee's Big Adventure, that's a real house in uh, Pasadena, and I went uh, there years ago, and then I got there too late, and it was dark out, so it became a bit of a meme online of, like, it's me standing in front of this person's house, like, in the middle of the night, and uh, it, it's pretty funny. But uh, but I was pissed because I wanted to get a picture in front of the you know the the house from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. So it was it, it, I got there too late. But then uh, so just the other day got to go there and finally got a daytime picture uh, in front of uh, the Pee Wee's Big Adventure house. So I was very happy. So if you want to see any, any of those pictures, they're on my Instagram. And then I did a little. Um, uh, the thing there's also the hedge from Halloween you know when Michael Myers is like chasing Laurie Strode like around town and everything so that I also got to find the actual hedge and they have like a little uh, uh, sign that says Haddonfield on it so that uh, I was able to like pop out from the hedge it was kind of funny another hey if you want to make some memes you can make some memes of that and uh, so basically just seeing a lot of different like locations all, all over like Hollywood and stuff. And I got a bunch more subs coming in. Uh, Cyborg 647 sub. We're at Hype Train level three. Workman112 just gifted out a bunch of subs to Joyous Success. EA Triangle 45. ACD uh, C Rocks 1979. Mongor Face and Wheeland Morph. 
all got gift subs from Workman112, and then a bunch more subs came in from DRN underscore 001. Let's see where those went out to. They went to Dawn, Dawn Wanderer. Uh, I was going to say spaghetti, but it's like SPC high. Keep rolling, 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 yo. Dayron182 and Brian Curse. Those are all from DRN001. Thank you very much for those gift subs. And we are on hype train level three. I very much appreciate all the subs. We're going to be playing arcade, arcade archive stuff tonight. And Lamb Kebab 423 also gifted out a bunch of subs to Colonel Sanders, all for awesome, DM Shooter, and Mitch Donald High, and also Archie Golden. You all got subs from Lamb Kebab 423. And also, Broom Hatter subbed and JT Yankees 23 subbed. And we got a thousand bits from it's jason 412 thank you very much and smashing bruh subbed holy god thank you guys and that we are at hype train level three almost at hype train level four and kashek 86 sub and <laughs> savage guy is sub oh my god well what a, what a way to come back to the stream after my vacation thank you very much guys all right so if you are just joining, what we're doing tonight, we're going to be playing a bunch of old retro arcade games uh, on the Switch tonight, going through the arcade archives. And MPL Live also subbed. Thank you. All right, let's get back to this. So this is like a jungle hunt. Um, spiritual successor. I was trying to think of the right sort of term. I, I, I sort of say it's... It was made by the same people... I think they got a lawsuit, and they were like, fuck you, you can't make Jungle Hunt because, motherfucker, because of Tarzan, you know, which is stupid, but I think that's what happened with that, so they had to make motherfucker, they had to make motherfucker, I'm going to start this over because I want to like actually do this. They had to make motherfucker. And Levance91 also gifted out a sub to Sauce King and Nintendo Twitch. Thank you very much for that. Thank you guys. All right, let's try this. I never know the damn buttons to hit on this fucking thing. Is it this? It's the fucking R button. All right. Come on, we're gonna do this. Nice. Nice. Damn it! It'll be okay. It'll be okay. There's no reason to get upset. It's not even the real jungle hunt. What? I'm having trouble with these controls. They're like weird. I'm gonna try it again. We're gonna do it. Good. Come on. Like, what was that? Every other time, I had, like, what is going on? I don't understand why. why. I'm going to figure these controls out. Is it just B and not? I don't know. It's like something like momentum based here. I think. Like like that. Am I? Wait. Is it because it's going backwards? Do, do I have to like time it more? See, I'm used to the Atari game where it's like you can jump off from any point of it. Maybe you, it has to be like. I think it. I think it's more like uh, momentum based than before. Yeah, all right, I think that's the deal. All right, I'll get it, I'll get it. And hang on a second, because we just got a whole bunch more gift subs that came in from DRN001. Let's go through these. Uh, a Shall V, Caesar the Salad, Persian Air, Sir Dolph, One Ton Muckfire, Train Bike 49, Shin Tenry, LF Baroni, Ken NT, Scrub King Cracked, up Down Dipper, 
Apocalypse Fitness, Odin Gunner, Thyrim 74, Axon Cello, Master Thrasher 88, Snake Master, Tungsten Viper, Vixter 5, Sin 1991, Wooden Hooligan 90, Scrooge McDee's Nuts, Hexrig X, Skulls Butts, and Surreal all just got gift subbed from DRN underscore 001. Thank you very much. And Bessa, thank you too. Thank you. Let's see if I can fucking do this now. Bum bum bum. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna, I'm gonna fucking do this. Oh my God, I was almost on the very edge. See, it was going back there. No, go ahead, kill me. You know how many quarters I would have used by now? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a round of this. How did I make it all the way to the cauldron at the end? I did all right the first time I played. All right, there, there, there. There, 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 fuck. I just gotta be really, really careful on this timing. There. Come on! There's no, re there's no reason for me to care this much. Good. My, my timing is just shit. All right, I'm, I'm not turning this game off until I fucking get the fucking girl at the end. I'm determined. So yeah, the pirate version of Jungle Hunt. I don't even know what the, what do they call it? Pirates Pete? Pirate Pete or some shit? I don't even know what the name of the game is. I think it's called Pirate Pete now. <laughs> Pirate Pete. Fuck you, Pirate Pete. Who painted this fucking boat, by the way? It's like the color of a green screen. I could have shot Revenge of the Sith on this boat and saved some money. Come on! Because I'm sure that was their big concern with uh, filming the, the budget for Revenge of the Sith. With green paint. Motherfucker! Dude, I can't get by the boat now. I did it before. You're not falling off. You're gonna do this right. Good. Good. Time it right. Time it right. Come on. Come on. Good. I don't want him to be so high up. I wish you could like climb up and down the rope. It's like trying to climb the rope in gym class. <laughs> that! Dude, fuck this. Play the Atari version. <laughs> Play the 2600 game. I hate these fucking ropes. <laughs> it's like I'm swinging on a fucking log of diarrhea coming out of a fucking If it was a log of diarrhea though, the 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 shit turd would snap off. So I don't think it is a diarrhea. I think it's definitely like a non-diarrhea. I think it's definitely like a non-diarrhea. Non-diarrhea. So you mean like a regular shit then? A regular a regular diarrhea coming out of your ass? A regular, a regular diarrhea. Please have another life. I, we're not, what, I don't care about the fucking online thing. It's gonna be a long night. 
<laughs> Shit, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh my god, did a bunch more gift subs just come in? Holy fucking shit, dude. How many did you just do? DRN001 just gifted. This guy's like, oh, I think, uh... I think I like... Well, let's see. First of all, let's see what the name of this fucking game even is. Here, I'm turning it off just so I can see it. It is Pirate Pete. Pirate Pete. I'm not done yet, though. I'm, I'm gonna make it. But before we get to that, I have to get to all these subs, because this guy, this nice gentleman here just gift subbed like a bazillion dollars. So, uh, KY Moon the Raccoon... You just got a gift sub. Dr. Eggplant, you just got a gift sub. Alan X Galnerus, Lone Swordsman, uh, Black Haze, BQBR, Oily Mechanic, Retro Game Lover, Marsupial Gamer, Five Sub Genius, Rosemary, Rosemary, why can't you be true? SMB VIP, Will Zero, Ever Dune, Sweet Toilet. Uh, may, maybe Hugo, Joel Long, Setzer, Mr. Polka, Baron Samedi, the cowboy, number one shark, I do what Nintendo, Jog8, and Clicky Jaw all got gift subs from DRN001. And then he decided he wasn't done yet. So, more gift subs are coming in now from XXBU, Water XX, M Newbie, Dusty Dino, Battletoad5150, uh, NNT Hayer, Neo Z99, Valiant Link, Faith XX17, Bing Bing21, and Mega Six String. All got gift subs from DRN001. And then DRN001 decided again that he wasn't done, so he gets subbed out more to the community to Jurassic Fist, Hino Pio, Fear, Some Rep, White Trash Jesus, Rob D, 4700, HD King, 0407, Missing Time, Nightmare Cast, and Banana Peeling Maniac all got gift subs from DRN underscore 001. Thank you very much. That was like a hundred or something gift subs. I appreciate that very much. The chat is like goddamn, very much goddamn. Thank you so much. Master G subbed. Icy Bonobo subbed. <laughs> Sailor Samara subbed. I Take the Wizard subbed. Navek the Enlighted subbed. Moblin Slayer subbed. Hey, I mean, you know what? If you want, we could just do this the rest of the night. This is fine. It seems like... <laughs> I don't know if we're ever going to get to the video game. People are just going to sub. Okay, well, you just sub. I'll just sit here. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. Flu, flu season is fucking here. Okay. <laughs> revenge return, revenge return. Mm -hmm. I hope Jerk Off Jeffrey's here. Well, I didn't shout out a gift sub for Jerk Off Jeffrey, so I don't know that he is here, but I, I also hope he's here. If you're here, Jerk Off Jeffrey... We, we all missed you. <laughs> all right. And Azalyn22 also sub. Thank you so much. All right. Back to Pirate Pete. <laughs> all the important things here I'm getting to tonight. So, here you go. Pirate Pete. There it is. Look at that treasure. Arr! Did I buy a Halloween costume in Hollywood? Uh, no, but I, I did see a bunch of ho stores uh, when I was in Hollywood uh, selling Halloween costumes. I almost went into a couple, but then I didn't. <laughs> so no, I didn't. But I definitely saw places selling them. There was one place I saw that looked like a fucking awesome like costume shop. I really wanted to stop in, but I didn't really have time. Yeah, I saw all that stuff. I went by the comedy store and all, fuck, and all that stuff. Saw Buffy's house from uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Fuck, what? Why? Uh, what else? Oh, you know where I was? I, I went to the beach where, uh, the Joker and Batman were 
uh, in the episode when they go surfing and then fuck in the in the sixties, like the surfing episode. Fucking goddamn it, dude. Uh, th uh, apparently this whole stream. No, I don't ever fucking care about. Is there any way to turn off the online score thing? I never want to enter it ever. Is there any way to make it like not do that? Fuck. Did I meet The Rock? Yeah, I, uh, well, that was the whole reason I went out there. I spent the entire week with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I was gonna make this like a whole night of Streaming all different arcade archives games, and apparently it's only gonna be piss fuck Pete, Pete Pirate Pete. Atari 2600 and play Jungle Hunt. That's how this game makes me feel. You better grab it, you fucking asshole. Oh! I hate this so much. How do you, how do you ruin Jungle Hunt? Also, why don't they just have Jungle Hunt on here? Do they have Jungle Hunt on here? Why do I have to have Pirate Pete? Release Jungle Hunt. I thought this was supposed to be like an improved version of the game. Proved my ass. He hits the fucking... Floor. It sounds like fucking wet farts. Swinging on diarrhea and smashing into the fart zone. All right, here we go. Yeah, that was the best I did on that part in a little while. Here we go. I'm gonna fucking do this this time. Fuck this shit! Speaking of farts. You fucking cocksucker! It, it, that better not be my last life. Sounds like. I bet top ten games with sound effects that sound like fuck motherfucking fucking farts. Top ten fucking sound effects that sound like fucking fucking farts. Fucking farts. Blarg from Mario World. Here we go. Oh Lord, he fartin'. That's right, you better get away from him. Yeah. Come on, baby. 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 No! Have another life. 
I don't know about this end part and the online score thing. Hold up about the online score. Let me just see. No, I don't want to do online score, but where's like... There, this. Here, hold up. Okay, so if I don't care about that, is there a way to turn it off? That, maybe that's it. Now I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try again now because I want to see if that online ranking shit comes up. Give a fuck. I'm gonna submit my score online Th to who? Ha like, who can? There's gonna be like a dude out there who's like waiting. I want to meet that guy. Who is that guy that's sitting there waiting? He's like watching some scoreboard somewhere and he's waiting for my my score in Pirate Pete to come up? Dude, listen, if you're that guy and you're sitting there and you're waiting for my score, my high score in Pirate Pete, dude, you got to go like go fucking do something with your life. I mean, what sit here and watch the stream and we can all laugh at how terrible I am. You know, falling falling off the fucking pirate ship or whatever. That that's fine. I get that. We all like to be entertained and whatever. But like the guy who's sitting there watching the scoreboard, is there literally? A, is that why they made that scoreboard? Because there's, is there enough of a demand for people? I like I like to just see that. There's just like a fucking room. Of, there's like a room of dudes sitting at a table. And the, and the scoreboard for Pirate Pete is there, and they're just waiting the, for the fucking scores to come in. What a sad room of fucking assholes that would be. It's just a room of these fucking guys, and they they all wear fucking pirate costumes. They have a fucking they have a fucking eye patch, and a fucking striped shirt, and a, like fake swords from the grocery store. And they're like ah. Uh, the scores be coming in today, aren't they, lads? You know? The fuck? Gives a shit what my score is in Pirate P. Nobody, nobody cares. <laughs> Judges, 10, 10, 10, 9.9, .9, yeah. They got, they're all holding up fucking signs and shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna join that panel. I'm gonna stop streaming forever. <laughs> Actually, I was saying earlier that I went on vacation to Hollywood. That's not what I did. I was actually at the uh, the Pirate Pete get together. Fucking cocksucker, meatballs. I was at the Pirate Pete meetup. You fucking scumbag! I'm the president of the Pirate Pete fan club. There he goes. There he goes. Come on. All right, this is my last try with this shit. this shit. Holy crap. Like that. It's gonna be at the end again. Dude, fuck this. Are you supposed to stop before the, um... The cauldron, or are you supposed to jump up all the way to the girl? Like, that's what, I don't know. I hate this game. Fuck Pirate Pete. I'm not done with Pirate Pete. We got Van Dyke. We got Tin Star. Let's look at some of the stuff. We got Legend of Mat Matei. Le <laughs> the Legend of Matei. <laughs> Let's do that. 
Uh, there once was a boy who made a video about Minecraft, but he didn't know anything about Minecraft. <laughs> so he got his good pal Inspector Gadget to come along. Twas the legend of Matai. All right, English version. That ought to be good. <laughs> Thanks, Brembo Baggins, for the sub and Nintendo Head. Appreciate it, guys. Let's see if I can figure out how to turn the game on. Hey. Like a wizards and warriors kind of thing. Does that tingle? Can I climb the tree? Climb it. Climb it. No? Look at these stellar graphics. Shop. Bats. Gotta have bats. It is really true about the bats. Like, they are pretty much in practically every fucking game you'll ever play. At least all the retro ones. How do I open this? Come on. I have a key, don't I? Oh, oh I'm entering more coins there. Uh... How about going here? No? Nice, nice fucking weapon. <laughs> Feed me, Seymour. You got 100 gems. This is, this is like Wizards and Warriors if the sword, like, actually went out further. Instead of being pressed up against your fucking chest. The guy's just throwing, are they throwing their heads at me? There you go, happy Halloween, you want your Halloween, there it is. Hey, you want your fucking Halloween? There's your fucking, I got your fucking Halloween right here. Hey! <laughs> I got your fucking Halloween right here! <laughs> what the fuck is this game? Open the chest up. And then there's time to, oh fuck you! The ghost and got you died. Oh, did I? Really? I wouldn't have thought. We couldn't figure that out. Fucking fuck you! Yeah! Piece of shit. Open this chest up. <sighs> okay. Get up here. Okay, we can get up here. Can I go in the door? Up. In. Oh, what? Oh! The first letter of the spell will kill you. What? Wait, go back in there. Oh, you hit down and B to get in. The fuck? There is one letter for every area. The spell is hidden. There's your tattoo. Get a tattoo of that. <laughs> ah! What the hell? Get away from me! Go in the shop. Yeah, we can buy more time, maybe. Uh, exit. Uh, how about an axe? Yeah, yeah, you have picked up whatever. Look, you look tired, you use recovery medicine, sure. Buy all the things. How do you use them though? I don't fucking know how to do any of that shit. Come again. Uh, but, but, uh, no. Uh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Boy, we got some real winners here so far tonight. Oh, let's see what else we can do. Come on, how about the Tin Star? Is this basically like Sunset Riders? This is gonna be good, I can tell. Thank you, Lucky Monkey, for the sub. Would you like to buy a monkey? <laughs> the legend of no. 
<laughs> uh, the Legend of No. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> okay, you can. Okay. Alright, you can spin the. Hang on, I'm trying to get the controls down here. Alright, you can spin this around like that, I say. get the high score in this for sure tonight. High score of all time. So this is the tin star. Wow, there you go. Fuck. Alright. Now that I know the controls a little bit. Isn't it nice not to have to enter? See, that's what helps you justify the seven dollar price tag or whatever on these fucking games actually actually i think this one was three well, a lot of these arcade games are like seven bucks on here which might seem expensive but if you were playing this in the arcade and you were trying to actually get somewhere how, mu how much money would i have already spent how much money would you spend trying to get good at this game you know fuck can I like walk, oh, you can walk up like that. Damn it, this is weird. We are, I'm gonna do it. Fuck you. I keep forgetting that I can like walk through space like that. Whoa. Fuck you, buddy. There you go. Yeah, go in the saloon. Let's get a drink. Go get fucking hammered, yo. We're gonna get fucked up. Fuck! I thought I turned that shit off. Do you have to do it for every game? If that's the case. Here. Can I find the fucking button for that? Does this, this uh, has like a different starting around demo sound, screen inversion, year display, audio settings, r reset scores and, re well I don't want to reset it, I just want to make it so. How do you turn this shit off? You can't with this one? All right, now that I can, now I can move up and down like that. I wonder what the high score in the world is on Tin Star. You can't, we must have scores. Online rankings is the setting. Online rankings is the setting. Now online rankings is, is online rankings. The setting I'm looking for is to make it not pop up when I'm done with the game. Oh, 
Motherfucker. Come out from there! Fucker, hiding behind the fucking piano. Like back the Back to the Future fucking thing on NES. You're going down, motherfucker. What's next? What's next? Those are four screens like Donkey Kong. Oh, now the barn. Wonder, can I go up top? Online rankings. Like there's no option and fucking turn it off. Top score was 69. Thank you, Shishi. Thanks. <laughs> That's the important thing, huh? All right, let's go to the next game. All right, the, the only thing that's pissing me off about this is how, like, there's no fucking option to turn off the online ranking thing, because I don't fucking care. Anyway, um, see how there's always, like, one fucking thing? And it's going to be on every fucking game like that. Um, all right, so let's do, let's do Donkey Kong 3. You can probably just de disable my internet connection. Yeah, that'd be good for my stream. I'm gonna pull the fucking ethernet cable out of my fucking wall. <laughs> Not even like hit the button to turn the, like, the router off, but it'll just like pull the fucking cord out of the wall. That's about how I do things. Anyway, so. You were talking about on the Switch? Yeah, but I was talking about pulling the fucking cable out of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Cut the cord with scissors like a man. <laughs> Destroy your house. Exactly. That's the way to do it, isn't it? I think so. Dirty fucking centipede. Oh, there is, by the way, there's a centipede rejuvenated or something for Switch. A centipede re reloaded. And then they're doing Black Widow rejuvenated. No, I think Missile Command was one, too. Give me that. Yeah! Get the fuck up there! That's what I needed. So you gotta have the squirty squirt thing. The, the, whatever that is, where you squeeze it and it squirts out really fast. If you have that, Donkey Kong's fucked. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. This game is the best. The boof. Bonjour. Cheese souffle. I don't think so, bug. I don't think so! This is one of those games that I can just like, play this game. I, did I turn into the, the toothpaste? It's toothpaste, I say. 
It's bug spray, Mike. Duh, cause they're bugs. No, it's toothpaste. Fuck you. You don't know. How do you how do you fucking know? I don't think you know. I don't think you know anything. I think it's fucking toothpaste, alright? It's a caulking gun. I'll give you a caulking gun. <laughs> give you a fat caulking gun in your mouth, motherfucker. <laughs> it's a caulking gun. No, it's fuck it's fucking bug spray. It's bug spray is what it is. <laughs> Give me that back. Give me that back! Is that guy my friend? Or those guys are like in the way or something? See, I'm making it more difficult on me now. Oh. I mean, my lives is probably it. Look at, the, look at the way he whacks those balls. Motherfucker! 45? 500? We can do better than that. 45, 500. I'm writing it down. 4, 5, 500. Is a high score of all time already? It's the highest score ever in Donkey Kong 3. Don't tell me. I don't want to hear otherwise. <sighs> sure. Well, that maybe doing it will make it go away. Thank you, Mick242, for the sub. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> 200? Is that my fucking score right now? 200? Doing great, Mike. Yeah, I'm doing real good. Thanks, King of Hades, for the sub and Zevon, 34 months. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, these guys I can't shoot through or something. Fuck out of here. Come on, get out of here. Is he not gonna move again? You have to like, wait forever. Motherfucker! Do it! Good! Put the fucking honeycomb on your fucking head. Pillaging pig subbed as well. Gonna need to make two-year badge in about nine months. We don't have a two-year two badge on there? We'll, we'll make more badges. Motherfuck! Dude, I'm gonna beat that 45, 500. I'm gonna have a good round of this. Yep, up, 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 up. What? Oh, then he fucking splits apart. Oh. And if I do it quicker with the time, you get more score, I guess. Dude, I don't even care. That score sucked. Why are you having me enter it? You know that it's not fucking good. There's no fucking prize for second place. The fuck? Have... You see that motherfucker Mike is in the top fucking thing there. Why are you even having me enter a fucking score? What do they think somebody else is playing? I'm still playing, motherfucker. 
there he goes. You forgot how frustrating this game is? It's good, I like it, Shadow. Yeah! That's what you want. The bane of every arcade machine. Is that your nickname, motherfucker Mike? It's the wizard. I am the wizard. Bye bye, Donkey Kong. Oh ho! Ah. This is fucking getting crazy. I'm gonna do this. Yeah! 7,000, add the time, right? Yeah, you add that time up. Add that time right up. I wonder if you can get extra lives somehow. Bup, 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 bup. Mm. Oh! Ran right into that like an idiot. 42,400, I better have another. One more, give me one more. Yeah. What? I didn't even see what hit me. 69? Have another, have another. Yeah, smack those fucking balls. Smack them, smack those balls. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the way he fucking whacks those fucking balls up there. You know, you just know. Fuck! Right, is that the last? Ah, 100 points. Ah, fuck you, Donkey Kong. Fuck you. you now I'll enter my score. M, F, M. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at that. Look at that, 100 points more. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're gonna enter that. The whole world needs to know. All right. <laughs> Dude, I can play that one all day. That's the best one so far. A big, big fucking surprise, by the way. Donkey Kong 3 is better than Pirate Pete. <laughs> or whatever. Are you guys fucking <laughs> surprised? Oh my god, Naughty Boy. Who wants to play Naughty Boy? We got Circus Charlie, Earth Defense Force. Daddy Mike's gonna play Naughty Boy. Let's find out what Naughty Boy is. <laughs> Anybody want to play Naughty Boy with me? <laughs> Who wants to play Naughty Boy? Oh, shit. Who wants to play Naughty Boy with Daddy Mike? <laughs> Hamster? Now, is Hamster doing a lot of this shit? I know M2 does a lot of that. Who's, who's doing these arcade archives? How do I talk to these people? How do I talk to these people that are making the... Arcade fucking things on the fucking switch. They probably don't want to fucking talk to me. <laughs> How do you fucking talk to these fucking people? How do you fucking get their contact information? How do you talk to these fucking guys about the fucking naughty boy? They're like, I don't think we want to talk to him. <laughs> we have no interest in talking to that guy. Yeah, I wonder why. Hmm. I want to tell them that they need to have on... Uh, Mr. Do and Sinistar and there's a whole there's a lot of games that are not on this thing and that need to be on here so that's my problem where are the rest of the fucking games where are they come on let's see what Naughty Boy is all about new version previous version I don't fucking know I don't fucking know just start the fucking game Put the fucking quarter in. Naughty boy. 
Wait a second, wait a second, is this... Is this game awesome? Maybe, maybe this is awesome, hang on. Yeah, oh, fuck you. Is a ghost? Look at that ghost, get out of here. The fuck out of here, huh? Be your nose with the rubber hose. Oh my god, oh my god! Ah! Ha! Ah! What do I do? Get, get, I touch those flags or something? Do I get the flag? On the castle? I don't know how you end this. Fuck! 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 I'm gonna figure out. Maybe you just gotta kill all the enemies. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Go down the thing! Jeez. What's the question mark? The fuck? This is fucking weird. And then there's this thing in the middle. It's like Pac-Man. They're all coming out of that thing in the middle. The, the respawner. Whoa! I'm gonna kill that goose. Oh, you probably... Mm. Oh my god. No, we're doing this again. I'm gonna figure this out. No, no score. Start the game. How, now, how is he a naughty boy? This is not what I thought this was gonna be. You think this would be like fucking, you'd be like jacking off onto these fucking ghost faces or something. But it's not, it's not like that at all. You don't even jack off onto the ghost face. Oh, here you go. Oh my God! Is that good? The whole world went on fire. Fucking got bomb bombed, and then the thing came out of anywhere, nowhere. Let's make a run for it. I swear to God. Fucking R two D two. What the fuck is this? Poor fucking god. I, all right, I think you have to kill all these fucking guys. This is hard. I'm gonna do this. All right, you're dead. You're dead. Mm. You're dead. You're dead. Come on. I don't think you can kill those. Good. Fuck you. How do I get, oh my god. Oh, 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 wow. Hang on, hang on. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Fuck! This is ridiculous! How do they fucking expect you to do this? They don't. They're just trying to eat your money. Oh my god. All right, well, this is really, 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 really hard. All right, I don't know. All right, that's Naughty Boy. Not at all what you'd think it would be. Legend, Legend of Matei. The Ninja, the Van Dyke. We got we got a lot of games to do here. We're gonna do Cir Circus Charlie. Uh, oh my god. Block Hole. Burger Time. We need a Burger Time, Contra, Donkey Kong. Frisky Tom. You all like Frisky Tom? I bet you do. Kangaroo. Kangaroo's a classic. Puyan. I like Puyan. Let's do Puyan. I like Puyan. 
Poo Yan, Poo Yan. Mike, you got rated. Did I get rated? Uh, where is it? Who rated? Well, whoever rated, thank you. Oh, Andy Social Network rated. Thank you very much. Andy Social Network. DRock3978 also sub. Uh, Andy Social Network, he plays a lot of Street Fighter. If you're into Street Fighter, check his channel out for sure. I think he has some like world high scores and stuff. Something, something I don't stream as Street Fighter. I'm no good at it. But you can check him out for that. He's got those skills to pay the bills. All right, this is Puyan. I used to play, this is one that I did play in the arcade back in the day when I was a kid. Now, I was born in 1980, and this came out in 1982. So you might say, well, you were only two years old, and you would be right. So what would happen is I'd go to the arcades later on, and they'd have the old machines still there. You know, more when I was going to the arcades, it was probably like, you know, by the time I started getting in there, 78, or, I'm sorry, 78, uh, 87, 88, 89, you know, in the, like, Mortal Kombat era. So they'd have the new games up front, which would be, like, Ninja Turtles would be up front, and, you know, Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter and all that stuff. Those were, like, the, and X-Men and Simpsons. Those were, like, the popular games that were, like, at the front of the arcade by that point. And stuff like this would be the old stuff, was, which was in the back of the arcade. So they still would have machines like this, um, you know. So I did get the opportunity in the arcades back then in the 80s and 90s to play these games. But, I mean, since then, you can still play them, you know, conventions or, you know, I've been to places like Fun Spot and different arcades and stuff like that. You know, so uh, this is one that I did get to play, though. Uh, but I have the fondest memories for being able to play, even though like, it's like today you could go to, you know, an arcade or a barcade or something like that and play arcade games you know, like this. They might have, still have them around if they have an arcade where they keep up stuff. And that's really cool. I like those barcades and everything. But um, I, I am still really fond for the memories that I've had for being able to go to the arcade when these games were, you know, more current back in the 80s. Fond, I have fond memories of that. This is not an easy game either. And you can get uh, you can get the meat. And what you want to do is there's these pigs or whatever they are, the foxes. You stick the meat in the you stick the meat in the pig, you know, or stick the meat in the fox, which will do when they all start coming down on the like umbrellas or, or on the balloons like this. This is a good place to show you what I mean. Like that. Oh, I didn't do it. But you can kind of get a string of them sometimes. And dead. Fucker, seeing them, they push the boulder on top of me. So 14 more I gotta get. But it's the foxes, you gotta knock down these foxes. Like that, 13 more to go. Good. And this is one I always wanted to play back then in the arcade. And I think I might have been like one arcade that had this, and then you know you couldn't, then you couldn't find it. They take the machine out or something. And it's like the worst. It's like, oh, that machine broke, or we don't have it anymore. It's like, oh, what? You don't have that game anymore? And a lot, of, some of the games you know that I used to like have like be nostalgic for probably really sucked. I remember there was a game called uh, I think it was called P Pig Out or something. And I had uh, some pretty nostalgic memories of that. But then at one point later, I played it on, like, MAME or something. I was like, uh, actually, this game wasn't, wasn't all that much that I remember. But in your mind, you know, you, you're like, you know, you haven't played something in a long time. And then you come back to it later, and it doesn't, like, live up to your memory. Isn't that the worst? When you play a game, you're like, oh, I played this game 20 years ago, and I loved it. And then you play it again, and you're like, oh, this game actually isn't all that good anymore, unfortunately. But Puyam, I do like. Pu Puyam's a good, good game. Still, I think this one held up relatively well. Good old Puyan, motherfucker, motherfucker. Round two. All right, I am going to. I don't care. Uh, I am going to take a quick break. We will come back and we play some more arcade games. But before I do that. 
really quick, I want to show you some of the games. So I got Puyan, Naughty Boy, Donkey Kong, Tin Star, Pirate Pete, City Connection. We can put that on. Um, this Van Dyke one. This guy's like kind of looks like He Man or something. Circus Charlie. I like Circus Charlie. We're gonna play that when we come back. Uh, I have a lot of the shmups and stuff, uh, Blazing Star, Last Resort, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I do have, I mean, this is just stuff that I have on Switch. I do other streams at other times where I play, like, some of the Neo Geo, SNK games um, on the actual, like, Neo Geo. So that's, like, a different type of stream. So even though I have Neo Geo stuff on the Switch, I also have it on, like, you know, the actual machine and all that. So it's just whatever. It's like I, I get I like these games and I get them on any source that I can. Like if it was on Wii, I'd buy it on Wii. Or if it's on PS4, I get it on the PS4. I want all the games. I like to have all the games. Image Fight, uh, Grady's Three Arcade kind of sucks. Um, In the Hunt, I love In the Hunt. It's a beautiful game. We got Kangaroo. Uh, maybe we can play some Rygar. I did a stream a long time ago of Sky Skipper. We can do, uh, we got this this Mustang thing. Uh, the Flashback Classics, we can try that. The, you know what else is on here that I have that I got is there's a new Centipede. Oh, and then we gotta do these. All, don't let me forget, I wanna do all these Namco museums. So that's like Dig Dug and you know all that kind of stuff. But where is, I bought the Centipede thing. I thought I did, am I passing it? There it is. It's kind of just the the font is pretty dark there. I can barely read it. But there's Centipede Recharge. We can try that. Anyway, all right. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll come back, and then we will play some more arcade games. I'll be back.
back and do Dewey Juicy subbed. Thank you very much for that. I'm playing a bunch of arcade games. By the way, Cruise and Blast is something uh, I've been playing a little bit of, and it's really fun. So I also want to stream that. We can talk about that. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll play a little bit of that later. There's just a lot of things I want to play. But uh, what are we going to do? Let's jump in. Oh, yeah. I was going to play Circus Charlie. Charlie. Let's play that. The last track, what, what was it from? I don't know. It goes out to you guys. I don't hear it, so I have no idea. You'll have to figure that one out. Maybe someone in the chat knows. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I am Weasel Sub. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Nobody wants a Charlie in the box. Dick in the box. Put your dick in the box. <laughs> you want to get Cruise and Blast. You need to beat Dread first, though. Yeah, Cruise and Blast. I've been playing it. It's really. I would recommend it. I'll, I'm gonna. I'll stream it. But uh, I haven't unlocked the. What is it? It's like easy. Easy, normal, hard, expert, or whatever. I haven't unlocked the hard mode yet, the third one, so I'm working on it, but we'll play that hopefully soon. All right, this is Circus Charlie. By the way, uh, the greatest video game ever made. You don't need any other games. Forget about Battlefront. Forget about Fortnite. All you need is Circus Charlie. That's all you need. You want a cotton reboot? Oh yeah, then there's, I have a cotton thing on here, cotton something. Erin was playing it the other day. She, she beat it, I think. Or went through the, whatever, the mode. Um, I think there's two of them on Switch though. I don't really know. I haven't looked into that much. I got, I don't know, I got a bunch of cotton games. So I was playing one on, Maybe PC Engine CD or Saturn. Or, I don't know. I guess there's like a bunch of cotton stuff. Not a bad start. Usually better, better than I usually do to start this game. <clears throat> Another random meme says, hang on, uh, hey Mike, I've been looking for your high scores on the Arcade Archive World Scoreboard, but can't find them. Yeah, that's because I don't enter them. <laughs> Fuck. I don't even know what to do on this part. I don't even know if I've gotten this far before. This is just the timing. Fuck. Oh, you can't go that high.
than that. It was basically Circus Charlie. <laughs> I guess I don't have much to say about it. It's I don't know, I like Circus Charlie. It's a fun little arcade game. It's forever to enter my name, but there you go. There you go. Circus Charlie, look at that. Are the arcade marquee somewhere in this house. Uh, all right, we did Naughty Boy. I wanna play more Donkey Kong 3. I like, I like Donkey Kong 3. City Connection. Should we do, let's try this Van Dyke game. Van Dyke. Vegatron.0 sub, thank you. And Major Goose also sub, Ma Major Goose. Bum, 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 bum. Van Dyke. Dick Van Dyke's favorite game, that's right. Yeah, here we go. There's another game you could just skin, make a skin, and then it could be He Man. Look at that body type. Look at him from the side. <laughs> You go, Van Dyke. No, I like the graphics, honestly. It's, it's nice sprite art work. A little goofy, but I think it's supposed to be. Fuck you. Get out of here. I like how they explode. If you kill a caveman with a hammer, he explodes into fire. Oh, damn. Oh yeah, I'm a little stronger now. Getting strong now. I'm so strong now. That. A magic attack or something? Damn. Whoa, uh, I guess? I don't know. Shit, it went away so quickly I didn't know what I was supposed to do. What the fuck was that? What? This is gonna kill everybody on the stage or something? Yeah, burning flame! Fire three. Medio. Oh yeah, look at that! Look how fucking long it is. Look at that. Oh, and you can, you can fucking spin it around, too. Look how fucking long that is, and you can fucking spin it around. This is great. That kind of reminds me of the weapon from Rygar, the disc armor. I didn't know you can get something like this. What about this? Cherries? Jump, 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 jump. This game's great. Why don't you guys tell me about this game? What the fuck? You guys are holding out on me, not telling me about the Dick Van Dyke game. The fuck? You gotta be telling me about the Dick Van Dyke game. Mike is helicoptering. That's right, because it's a because it's an overhead game, so it's helicopter view. Castlevania mode now. That's right. It's log, log, log. Oh, oh, look at that. Blow that up. 
Oh, oh my god, this is the boss. Holy crap, holy crap. Dude, this is awesome. See, this is, like, this is, fuck. This is, this is fuck. What I was gonna say is, this is what I'm talking about. There's all, this, like, this is a cool game. I haven't fucking played this before. You guys are holding out on me with the, with the cool games. Or either that or you just didn't know. I'll say that you didn't know. You gotta tell me all these cool games that exist. Mm. Yeah. See, I'm gonna kill. Mm. Mm. I, like, I don't know if I can get that, whatever that is over there, so. That item inside, like the bomb and the other thing. I don't know if that's like a trap or if it's a, it's a weapon I can use. I guess I could try it. Should I do it? Fuck it, I'll do it. Oh, I tried it. I tried to move. I'm gonna get up there, get up there. Oh, oh, that's the fucking... Oh, I see. Oh, shit. Dude, look at that. Look at the sprite art on that fire. That's awesome. This is great. What company made this? Did you guys see? I love this. This is awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Skeletons. Hang on a second. I'm going to talk to my chat. He is the man. He is the man. Prob O Escobar or whatever, whatever your name is. Yep, all the fuck. Magic Genie. What game is this? It's called Van Dyke. Tale of the Sun for PS1. I know about Tale of the Sun, but I haven't yet, no. So maybe someday. I know there's a, um audience for that. Spooky Skeletons. Taito? You think it's Taito? Yeah, I feel like it might be, too. Kinda wish I had my sword back. Can you switch to your other weapon somehow? Like, this item was really good for the boss, but I'm not sure how much I like it. Uh, I guess it's all right. I don't know. I want that, like, chain weapon back. What's this? That familiar? Didn't expect to see that. Okay, now I got my sword back. Is she doing anything now? Worthless. There it is. That's what I like. Here we go. Yeah, fuck you. Mm. Boom. Too bad there's nobody there. Dude, this game is fucking awesome. Yeah, burn in hell! That's where you came from anyway, might as well burn in hell. You're gonna burn in hell! Ooh. Look at all these different weapons and shit, this is so cool. Oh, genie, genie, get the fuck out. Never had a friend like me. I, I love the, how this game looks. This is fantastic. It reminds me a little bit of, uh, what's it called? Elemental Master did a video on that a really really long time ago for Genesis Kind of has that vibe a little bit. It's 
sort of. Oh my, oh my God. This is fucking nuts. This weapon's really good, by the way. Oh, they get back up. Yeah, we're gonna keep going. I like this too much. Oh, oh! I can't fight you with a sword, can I? I have to run away. I need a better weapon. Hmm. You know what else is cool about this? How you can kind of like travel from left to right. Like, only some of the screen is exposed. So, like, there could be secrets that you're not finding, you know, if you, like, explore both sides of the screen. It's kind of neat. Gems. Damn. How about this thing? Yeah, strength up. Good. What happens if you can get your strength all the way up? You'd be the fucking man. It's like the man bat from uh, Batman the Animated Series. Boom. Oh, man, I love how this game looks. I, like, this is fantastic. I wish I would have known about this game before today. I totally would have played this before. Oh, motherfucker. See, if you have this thing, it actually kills the skeletons. Fucking guys. Damn it. Now I'm down to my shitty sword. Gumby. There's a goo. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. I wanna see what the next boss is. If I can make it there. No, no more of those guys. I wonder if that's random or like you can memorize which ones. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Damn. I just have to run from these. There it is. Oh my god. I need to get... That. Gimme, give gimme, give yes. credit Van Dyke? What are you, fucking loser? <laughs> Start me there. Uh, I'm back further. Well, that's alright. Well, I'll move on. But that game is fucking awesome. I like that game a lot. I say pick that one up. That's, that's worth it. For sure. Van Dyke. Good. That one's good. Circus Charlie's good. Pooyan's good. Naughty Boy... I didn't like I didn't like Naughty Boy. Donkey Kong 3, yes. In fact, I want to play more Donkey Kong 3, but um call this shit. Let's just try the Sea Fighter game. See what that's like. Ross the 888, thank you very much for the sub. He says this is great. Yeah, it's cool. Beach Street Tom, thank you very much also for the sub. Dick Van Dyke. Bum 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 bum. Eats raw meat laying in the dirt. What a fucking Chad. That's right. It's what, like fucking Simon Belmont punches his fist through a wall and pulls out meat that's been sitting in there for a hundred years and he fucking eats it. And it doesn't, 
It doesn't poison him or kill him. Really, that would be, like, poisonous or, like, kill you. He eats it and it makes him fucking stronger. All right, Sea Fighter Poseidon, another Taito game. So wait a second. So you guys know how I like Mr. Do a lot. I just got a thing for Mr. I could play this one on Super Nintendo. I actually think that's a pretty good port. But um, I think Universal did that game. So maybe Switch hasn't gotten a deal with whoever owns that yet. Now, Dig Dug is on here, and I, I know that um, Mr. Do and Dig Dug are they're pretty similar, but I, I just liked it, Mr. Do a little bit better. It's got the ball that like, bounces around the screen and stuff. I think that's a lot more fun than the the hose, you know? I feel like it moves faster. It's just, it's just like a better kind of version of Dig Dug, but it definitely is basically Dig Dug. It's like Dig Dug if, it, if Dig Dug was more fun <laughs> and a better theme. Dig Dogger, no. Dig Dogger, level three in Zelda. Ever play the arcade classic Guzzler? Oh, boy, do I like guzzling, let me tell you. I'm sure you've played, I'm sure you've guzzled some a little bit. All right, this is round one of Poseidon. Let's try this out. I've never played this game, so here we go. What? <laughs> Wait, I'm like learning what the fuck they even do. Also, like, I don't think Defender is on here. Like, is Defender on Switch? Should be. Okay, so you give it a second. A little animation happens. Oh, also, also, wait, I'm like totally blocking the screen on this. Let me move that over. Sorry, I just looked and realized that. I apologize. Has the whole fucking stream been that way? Sorry. Also, hang on a second. Let me fix. There's like several things that need to be fixed here. Let me do like, well, then you won't be able to see the text. I'll just leave it like that. Damn it. Sorry about that. I just realized that it was like that. So if my camera was like blocking off the gameplay for habit, I hate that with streams when you, you know, like the gameplay gets blocked off. So sorry, I didn't, usually I try to make it not like that. So I apologize if, if, if I was blocking part of the gameplay. That's, oh, it's always very important to me that you guys see all the gameplay. So in the future, if I ever do that, shout at me, you know? With some games, like modern games that fill up the entire screen, there's nothing you can do. But when there is, when it's like an old game and it's like four thirds and there's you know, a place to put my camera. I like to not cover up the gameplay if possible, so sorry. Shame on you, Mike. No, I know, I... It is It is shame on me. Shame, shame, shame. Shame on you. Anybody remember that? <laughs> Need more face, less gameplay? I will... We could, we could fix that. I can make it a... Ah! We can do this. No. All right. Oh, damn, I keep hitting the wrong button. Let's try this again. This might be good. I don't know. I need to play this more to see.
I am not satisfied at all. Let's go again. Just terrible. So what? So there's gonna be five, five of these guys, right? I have to save, I guess, during the level. Help out five, it said. Okay, here we go. Oh, and it shows the little icon up there. All right. I'm gonna do this. I have never even heard of this game until today. I will say, you know, something that I really like and I've always liked is obscure games and kind of finding obscure games. Fuck! This is not easy, though. Um, and then on top of that, uh, you know, these early, like, 80s arcade games, I've always had a soft spot in my heart for them. Um, you know, like, fuck, it's just like, this is tough. Not, like, 1980, 1981, 82, 83, 84, like that, like, era. So, finding these, uh, games and the fact that they're being ported in you know 2020 2021 like this era to the switch in a way that people can play it I, I think is really is really cool and I hope this arcade archive series whatever whatever it is uh, I hope they keep like releasing stuff and you know don't stop because there's so much more stuff out there that could come to this so I really hope they keep doing that another thing i have to say too is you know like pretty soon they're going to be coming out with the n64 online you know i don't know if you guys heard of that you know how they have the nes games on the switch and the super nintendo games on the switch like they're gonna they're doing that which is cool uh but i hope that that doesn't mean that they're gonna slow down even more with the nes and super nintendo releases because there's so many great NES and Super Nintendo games that aren't on Switch. It's like, I guess they're never gonna get, you're never gonna get, I don't think, the full library of NES and Super Nintendo games. It's like so like limited, like the, cho the choices of games. There's, there is some good stuff on there, but I just hope that they like start dropping some more of the actual good games. Cause you know, a lot of young, the younger generation kids now who have, you know, might try out the NES games, they're gonna see this, like, list of games, and it's like, boy, if they try it out, they're missing out on so many good games that were on Super Nintendo and, um, and NES that, that aren't on there, so it's, it's a shame, I, I hope they, you know, start putting out some, some more stuff, because a lot of times I'll check and be like, okay, I haven't looked in a while, what did they put on the, you know, on the NES online thing, and then you look, and it's like a bunch of fucking garbage, and it's like, when are they gonna put some of the really good games on there. I mean, I'm happy they're doing it, but um, yeah, the NES and SNES selection on Switch is pretty limited. Yeah, it's just, but I get it. Like I, I understand and I don't have a problem with them taking their time with releasing the stuff. It's like fine. Um, like I don't expect them to drop every single game immediately, I guess. Like they, like they can, they can do it like that where they just, you know, they release a little bit here and there. Like I don't have a problem with that, but like I just hope in like two to three years time, like we start getting some. Or you know what I, you know what I hope actually. Here, let me rephrase this. I don't mind that they're only dropping a couple games here and there, but I wish that the games that they would drop would be better choices. I guess that's what I have to say. Because some of this shit, it's like, what the fuck kind of... Who is picking the games to release? Dude, I need gas here. How do you get more gas? Or, oh, you can move faster. I see. I didn't realize. So if I push forward, I can go fast. I get, I get how to do this now. All right, wait a second. I'll do this. You know what? I actually might really like this. Sorry, I'm just like learning how to play it. I, I didn't. I wasn't really paying attention to the gas thing that much. Like River Raid or something, right? Where 
it's that last person. Did I just miss them and then it's, it's just over? Like. So I missed, I, I, I'm, I think I missed one of them earlier. So at this point, like, I don't know, maybe I just have to make it to the end of this or something. I don't know what I do at this point because I keep running out of gas. There's something I don't know about this. Have any of you guys played this one before? Maybe somebody knows. Oh, oh, there's a fucking boss? I did not expect to see a boss in this game. Wow. <laughs> I had no idea this had a, a boss. I'm gonna play this again, this is interesting. This game sucks, says Violet. Violet Jet. Well, you know what? I'm gonna play it again. What do you think about that? What do you think about that, Violet Jet? What do you think about that? I'm gonna play it again. In fact, uh, I'm gonna play this for the next three hours. <laughs> I am gonna play it again, though. Arcade Archives are looking to release 800 titles. You've played this on main. Are they? Did they have they said that? Do they have like a private list somewhere? I guess they like they have the 800 games that they're gonna release and they're just gradually putting them out. How many games are on it already? Any idea? Because I know that there's quite a bit. Like how many do we got so far? No, I got the five people, so that's it, it ended it. So if you don't get the five people, then you have to get to the boss at the end. <laughs> Dance Dance Revolution. This, yes, this is going to begin my speedrunning career. Oh, what, ga what games do you speedrun, Mike? Like Mario 3 or Ninja Gaiden or something? No, uh, the Poseidon. Poseidon? What the fuck is that? You never played Poseidon, dude? just like to point out something. Uh, Metroid Dread is out right now. Just like to point that out. sound effect. Can you blow those up? Ooh, we can. What the fuck? Oh, dude. I didn't... Wait, what? I didn't... Hold up. You can abandon your ship? Dude, we're playing this again. I, I didn't know you could do that. Hold up. Hang on a second. There's an ejector seat in this. 
Why didn't you guys tell me there was an ejector seat? How dare you? Shh, we're not gonna tell him that there's an ejector seat. You bastards. You bastards. Garbad. Actually, speaking of Diablo, they just put uh, Diablo 2 on Switch, which is also cool. Any of, you, any of you guys in here get your hands on the Switch OLED yet? Secrets we need to know. Yes, mainly as a handheld player, and you loved it. Yeah, I want to know if the dock is better for it, because I am mainly not a handheld person, as you know. I like to, you know, use the switch in the dock. But if the dock is better, then I would definitely consider it. That, and I, I hope that they fixed it to where, like, you can just plug the fucking thing in and just have it come on instead of, like, having to charge it for a while. If they fixed, like, those two things, and I, I mean, ideally also fix the D-pad, but I don't see them doing that. But mainly the dock. If they fixed the dock, I would, I'd probably buy it. Anyway, you guys get the idea with this game. That is Sea Fighter Poseidon. Kind of cool, I guess. Not as cool as Van Dyke, but it was pretty cool. Donkey Kong 3. I'll play that again later. And I bought this Guardian Force game, which I don't, I haven't played it yet. When you're low on fuel, abandon your ship. Oh, you can take an enemy ship? Wait, what? Hold up, sorry. You, you're supposed to abandon your ship and take the enemy ship. Hold up a second, that is a whole new... I wanna, I wanna see that. Sorry, give, give me a minute, I, just, I wanna try to do that. The, the chat's like, what have you done? They're all gonna be very angry at K Hung 87. But then what will the enemy drive? Fuck the enemy. He can drive himself to hell. Fuck him. Help, 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 help. We tried to tell you, lol. I know, sorry. All right, so when I get low on fuel, I'm gonna abandon the ship. For 1983, this is pretty advanced shit here. I mean, really. Like in Super Mario World, when you jump off of Yoshi, you know, you abandon Yoshi. He, des he deserves it anyway, though. Fuck. Oh, that was the last one. Okay. And Brutendo, thank you very much for the sub. And misguided Jojo21 as well. A bunch of subs came in. Thank you guys.
like that, that's where I could jump off and get their ship. I'm gonna try that when I get a good opportunity here. Oh, well that, oh, oh no. They, oh, okay, I just did it. Sorry, I'm getting used to that. Okay. Fuck! <laughs> Shit. That's like the feel like you're playing uh, Galaga and you get the two, uh, you get the two ships. That's what that feels like. Ah, oh, fuck. God damn it. The fucking ship was in the way to get that. I could fuck more with that later. That's cool though, that's enough for that. It's cool, I had to practice it. I actually, I honestly do like that game, it's, it's pretty cool. I could see myself playing that for a long time and trying to actually like get somewhere. But yeah, I've never played that one before. How about, uh, let's go something classic here, let's do some burger time. Burger time, what do you guys think of burger time? Anybody, anybody here really like burger time a lot? I feel like a lot of people don't like burger time. Hamster. Hamster seems to do all this stuff, huh? Hobby Man Mike Gaming sub, thank you very much. You never played it. Alright, let's give it a go. There goes Peter Pepper. So the idea in burger time is you gotta make the burgers. You run over the bread, you run over the lettuce, or the burger, whatever the item is. And you gotta knock it all down to the bottom of the screen. You do have an emergency uh, save, which is your your pepper, which to me always looked more like salt. But I think it's supposed to be pepper. Ice cream is for extra points. I'm not gonna make it there in time. It disappears pretty quick. In the second stage, I think it's coffee. And this is where I'm gonna have to use it. Fuck! And is it not the B button? I, I have to figure out what button it is. <sighs> Can I get that? Oh, I actually got it. Oh, it is the B button. All right. Hey, hey! So I have five peppers left. Four peppers left. I can just finish this out. Nice, and there is the burgers. We go on to the next screen. Is there meat between those buns? Oh, you know there's meat between those buns. Now we got cheese. Anybody got any cheese? Coffee, 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 coffee. Thousand bucks for the coffee. Thousand points, thousand bucks. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Hey, there you go. Fuck you. Ah, wrong way! There's really no reason to get as upset as I get when I play these games. Uh. I happen to have uh, severe mental problems. <laughs> so if you're wondering, if you're wondering why 
I get as upset as I get. Now you know. As I, so when you're like turning or stuck on the ladder, I couldn't throw the damn. Oh, that was it. Come on, I could do better than that. Well, whatever. It's burger time. That's burger time. We'll move on. Everybody knows fucking burger time. I don't get an opportunity very often on stream to play Burger Time. Maybe we'll pop it on again later or something. Uh, I got Kangaroo. I don't know. Puyan. Rygar. The Arcade Rygar. Want to do a little Rygar? We could do a little Rygar. We could do... Take a look at the Atari Flashback. Let's look at this. Then there's a whole bunch of games inside this Atari Flashback thing. So, shit. This just goes on and on and on. The fun is back, oh yes siree. It's a 2600 from Atari. I am the cheese. I am the cheese. Steve Urkel, that's right. The big kahuna. Asteroids, crystal castles. Castle my asshole. <laughs> Gravatar. Millipede! I've always been more a fan of Millipede than Centipede. What can I say? Pool Shark. Look at these beautiful marquees. What marquees do I I, I have asteroids? I think I have Crystal Castles, Asteroids Deluxe I have, Black Widow I have, Centipede I have. Look at that, I like how it has the, the actual machines over there, this is really cool. Let's look. Football, I don't have that. Pong, um, Maze Invader, Maze Invaders. I have the Millipede Marquee. Is that the only one on this page I have? I think it might be. Maybe, maybe Gravatar. Skydiver, Super Breakout. Oh, and then you got actual 2600 games. That's funny. Superbug. Warlords. Ooh, the arcade Warlords. And now we're just into nothing but. Oh, it's a 5200 version of Asteroids. Interesting. pretty cool. Maze craze. I want to do that because I want to see if this, it actually shows. Yeah, there's the screen fucking up. So, so sometimes I try to stream on my real Atari and the capture card doesn't show this part. Now I finally get to show you guys the part that I like. Okay, here you go. That that part. <laughs> That's it. How do I get out of that? That's not So it's like no, it's a return to haunted house. Save Mary. So they have some like homebrew stuff on here. I think. Or is that like prototype shit? Like return to haunted house. I, don't know, I know haunted house. I don't know return to haunted house. Get this sword quest shit on here. So a lot of it is 2600 games. Boy, are they missing a lot of good 2600 games. Do they have, um... Do they have Turmoil? Because Turmoil is fucking awesome, I'd say. They better. What is this? Where's turmoil? No fucking turmoil? Where's Taz? This is why you need to have a real Atari. Anyway, neat that they do this regardless. Where the fuck is turmoil though? Come on. Come on. Anyway, uh... About centipede. Let's see how the centipede on this is. I, 
I like the fit. I like the 5200 version because I because I can actually play that with a trackball controller instead of a D-pad. You don't want to be playing Centipede with a D-pad, really. neat that they have the 2600 version and the arcade version. They should release a trackball controller for the Switch. Is there any way to use a trackball controller? That, like, that's what you need. You need to pa I want them to release trackball controller for the Switch and a paddle for the Switch. Like Nintendo. I want Nint Nintendo to make a paddle controller and a trackball controller that you can play with the Switch and make new games with a paddle controller and a trackball controller, a nice Nintendo one that you can plug in, and then design game, have classic games that you can play with it, like Marble Madness and stuff, like release those games, and then have Nintendo make some new games. I would like to see that happen. That would be nice. No one would buy it? Well, the, the, well, the, the those people can go fuck themselves. The... <laughs> <laughs> Those no one people. <laughs> Isn't that basically the Coleco vision? Well, so you're basically you're saying I should just cook up the Coleco vision. I mean, you might you might be right about that. Use trackball on your PC. I should do an E3 video every year of all the games I'd like to see created. Uh, well, I just gave you what I'd like to see. I would like to see trackball games and paddle games for Switch. That'd be nice. Mm. You know what somebody's gonna say? So, I did try this game out in handheld. Centipede on this collection. If you play this in handheld, you can turn your switch on the side, and a little, and you, it'll give you the option to have a trackball controller come up on the switch. But then it's like you're pushing your finger on a screen as the trackball. It doesn't work very well. It's a nice idea, and I like that they tried, but. They need to release a physical, real trackball for it. Also, it needs to be quality. If let's say that they did it, it would have to be quality because I could see them putting it out and it, it would be a, like a fucking piece of shit. It has to be like a good trackball, not some cheap like five dollar piece of shit. Because that's what would happen. They, they'd, it would come out, and then people would be like, "Hey, Mike, did you see they released the trackball for the Switch?" And then it would be, and then it would suck, and it would suck. That's what I can see happening. That's what, because that's what always happens. Because people are like, "Oh, Mike, did you see a um, a new Super Nintendo mouse came out for Mario Paint?" And I'm like, "Oh, that's great." And then I get it, and it sucks. And the original Super Nintendo mouse is like better, even though the original Super Nintendo mouse sucks. It's like. You would think 20 years later it would be better, but it's not. Yeah. Fuck.
this again. We're doing it again. just happened to be joining um i'm not going for a high score i'm not a speed runner of any type i'm just playing centipede imagine that i'm just playing it that's it i'm having fun i'm playing centipede not not going for any world records just playing the game we're just hanging out that's it imagine that Patrick W151, thank you very much for the sub. Got a notification I went live today. Welcome back. Oh, you never got the notification. Oh, well, that sucks. You only care about my online ranking. Yeah, right? <laughs> Give me the trackball. that they put the little side art on there. Oh, did I? And I fucked it up because I never, like, moved it back. Well, at least you can see the gameplay, which is all that really matters. I gotta pay attention with this, that it's, like, that it looks right on the screen. Sorry. What are you gonna do? They need to design all these games with streamers in mind. All right, let, that is that. Uh, I mean, there's a million games on this thing. How do I... Oh, there we go. Destroya! Crystal Castles. How does Tempest control on this thing? Let's say. Can't imagine. What the fuck? Sorry. There. Let's say. Tempest. 
Do 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 do. Fuck. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Super zapper recharge. Oh my god. That's cool. What about, um. I don't know about actual Atari, like 2600 games. Um, I mean, it's a nice little selection of stuff. Can't really complain too much. I mean, there's, you know, stuff missing and everything, but it's, it's, it's nice. Let's jump out of this, though, and let's go back to, uh, let's see what else we got on here. That's cool. It's a nice, I'd, I'd say that's worth it. You could, there's a lot of shit on there. Um... Donkey Kong 3, Gradius 2. I don't know, what one do you guys want me to play? What do you guys want? You guys probably want Rygar. You guys probably want... You guys want Mustang? You guys want X Multiply? You guys want, um... Earth Defense Force? Blazing Star? Um, what else do we have? Nobody wants more Pirate P, right? I hope not. <laughs> I hope nobody wants more Pirate P. Oh, you know what I wanted to do, too? I got all the Namco shit. I'm almost going to forget about that because it's all the way down here. So this Namco museum has, like, let's look at it. I think it's this one. Let's look at the Namco stuff. Gemini Wing. Combat. 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 Burger time. Yeah, we were just playing that a little, a little while ago. You want some attention? Do you, Neo Geo Zach? Neo Geo Zach wants attention. That's what he wants. Do 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 do. So this is the Namco Museum. We got Pac Man. Where's Miss Pac? Why is Miss Pac Man not on this? Are they planning to release another collection of games? They should. Hello, Namco, if you happen to be watching this. Where's Miss Pac-Man? I like the Pac- Where is all the Pac- Why does this not have all the Pac-Man? Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Junior Pac-Man, Super Pac-Man. All that shit. All the rest of them. All the Pac-Man games. The Pac-Men? All the Pac-Men? Where are all the Pac-Men? Galaga, Dig Dug. Uh-oh, Sky Kid. I like the Sky Kids on here, at least. Rolling Thunder, Galaga 88, which is cool. Splatterhouse. I think it's October, we gotta play a little Splatterhouse, right? Come? Yeah, what about come? What about come? <laughs> Ooh, let me move this. Let's do that, that's better. Splatter come. You can make a porn version. You just swing your dick around and fucking cum shoots on the wall. I mean, they made those Atari porn games. Why not, right? Why not? There's nothing wrong with that. Look at this guy. This guy's having a bad day. Ooh, I want that two by four. Is there a way to like put this down to ground? There we go, there we go. Yeah, this is now this is Splatterhouse. Oh fuck, come on, really? 
No. I like the um, bezel that they have going. Honestly, it's not bad. Looks pretty nice. comes out of the wall or whatever. Oh no. I'm thinking of Splatterhouse too. Can you like fuck? Jesus Christ. This is hard. Who knew the arcade version would be hard? How do you like get out of it and go back to the, how do they work this thing? Bars pause menu. What's that? You got a... Dig Dug, Ooh, Dig Dug. This is so colorful. Such a weird game. Their like faces transform and go through the dirt and shit. I always thought this was like the weirdest game. It's no weirder than anything else, right? Like Mario Brothers and shit. I don't know. Mario somehow makes more sense to me than Dig Dug. Dig Dug is just fucking weird. Well, these orange cubert looking guys with sunglasses turn into masks that fly through dirt. And then you use a hose to blow them up. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Makes perfect sense to me. Oof. Can I catch him? Bastard. You bastard, I'm gonna get you. Oh, couldn't get away. Bike pump. Yeah. Bicycle pump. Pump up the jam. Pump it up. Getting faster. Thank you, Dreamcast Aesthetic, for the sub. Hope you enjoyed your vacation and happy you're back from break. Thank you. Yeah. Had a good time out there in Hollywood. Hooray for Hollywood. Da, 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 I was just happy to finally get a daytime picture of the Pee Wee's Big Adventure house. Boom. Hey, we got an extra life. Bump a dump a dump a dump a dump bump bump. Cal oh yeah, California. California. Oh my god, they're so fast.
Bum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum bum bum. Bryce Versa says, I live in Burbank. We could have hung out with our boners. Oh yeah. You, you wonder why you didn't get that call. <laughs> I wonder why Mike's not calling me. I thought we could hang out with our boners. He's still, he's like looking at his phone. He's like, God, when's Mike gonna call me? Ma Mandy R40, thanks for the sub. <laughs> Fuck, Sub subbing for all this prime content here. They're watching with their friend. They're like, oh, who's this guy? You like to watch people on Twitch? Oh yeah, this is this, uh, he plays classic arcade games and sometimes he talks about hanging out with his boner. Fuck. So that's why I subbed him. That's cool, I'm gonna sub too. <laughs> now I get it, I didn't understand before, but boy. <laughs> Now I see why you subscribe to this guy. Yeah, also I might get a free steak in 40 years. Oh wow, even more reason. <laughs> Gray Bush D. Gray Bush. Gray Bush. That's <laughs> subbed. It's great. Glad that you're all putting a lot of thought into your Twitch usernames. Gray, Gray Bush, ladies and gentlemen, has now entered the chat and subscribed, by the way. Thank you. And Wish, Witch Knight gifted out a bunch of subs to, uh, hang on a second. Can I pause this all? Uh, one out, apathetic one, hex 06, muffin man 391, lunas moke, all got gift subs from Witch Knight. Thank you, and Bryce versus subbed. Sorry, our boners missed. Um, yeah, great. <laughs> I like that title screen. Uh, how do I get to another game here? Let's go change game. Let's do. You guys all know these. We do, let's. We have to look at the arcade Sky Kid, don't we? Oh God. I'll try not to make this the rest of the stream. I swear. So this is the arcade version of Sky Kid where your character actually does look more like a bird. Which he's supposed to be. It makes more sense now, right? Unlike that NES port. Boom. Oh, I love Sky Kid. Doesn't even matter what version it is. Connor Lennox subbed. Thank you very much, Connor, for the sub. Sky Kid, okay, now I have to buy this. Yeah. It's worth it for Sky Kid. See, if they just put the fuck all the good games like on these fucking collections. 
I want to know, does anybody know in 2021, like right now, who owns Mr. Do? Can they please fucking put that on here? I mean, I can, I'm fine with the Super Nintendo version. Like, I like the Super Nintendo version, personally. But, dude, I want Sinistar. I would really like if they put the X-Men arcade game on Switch. You know, as far as beat em ups go, like, I really like, I really like that. Boom. Oh wait, does that not work like the NES game? You have to like fly through them? Or is the or is the girls in the blue see that maybe this is a little different than the NES game? Because in the NES game the blue girls you flip and then you get like hearts out of them. So maybe this is not exactly the same. Hmm. Hmm. Love how this looks though. The blue is a much nicer blue than the NES game. The NES game has like a... I don't know, it's just a different shade of blue that's a little bit eye-piercing, I guess. I like how they, you know, they had the bezel on here. Like, this is nice. Honestly, like, somebody in the chat was saying, just for this. There you go. It's worth it, just for this one. Like, I would buy this collection just for this game. But I mean, it's got, you know, it's got Dig Dug and Pac-Man and other stuff, so this is, this is good. It's worth it, as long as they give me, give me something of quality, you know, for the love of God. Because some of these collections are not that great. Like, there's, there's a Capcom collection uh, on here that I think, it's got a good selection of games, but the menus are like total shit. Um, I, for, I forget the name of the collection off the top of my head. It's not the it's not the beat 'em up one. It's like it's a different one. I think you know what though. Wait, I think it's free actually. So I guess I can't complain if it's free. But yeah, they they like really fucked up the like menus and shit on. It's just like how hard is it? Just make it a fucking list of games and then you select them and it starts. Like that's all it needs to be. And they, they do all this other weird shit, and it's just like, just have, just put the games and select it. Like, make it like this. Like, this is fine. I'm not just, I'm not gonna keep just playing this because I'm gonna sit here and play Sky Kid, like, all day. But, like, th how this works is, is great. This works good. Like, look how simple, like, simple and well this works. It's just easy. And they made it a little bit flashy because... It's got like the, um, it's got like the logos and stuff. They did like they did a nice job. I didn't have to fucking wait through all this, just to bring up now. You can do this shit. I'm talking about how good it is, and then I'm like annoyed. Here, that's the first thing you should say. You don't need all that other shit. Not even actually. This is the first thing you should say. Just okay. You know what? I'm gonna back up my statement as I said. Just have this load up. Like, as soon as I click the A button, have, have it go directly to the screen. Fuck all that other shit. We don't need it. Um, and, but look, like, this is good. It's got the games, you select them, and you play them. That's good. You know? Like, Galaga 88. I like Galaga 88. Splatterhouse is good. I don't really know Tank Force. Rolling Thunder is good. Versus Pac-Man, regular Pac-Man. I mean, I think it's fucking stupid that the other, like, Miss Pac-Man and the other versions of Pac-Man should be on here, but whatever. I mean, maybe they're... The fucking Namco always does that shit. Go back to the PlayStation, the, like, Namco museums. They never want to have a collection of the games. I swear to God, somebody who's at the top of Namco is like, we can never have a collection of all of the Pac-Man games on one collection. We have to spread them out. Just like I spread out my asshole every night and take a fucking dump. That's how it has to be. They can't have them all. You have to buy like 18 different fucking collections to get all the Pac-Man games. 
can we please just fucking have all the Pac-Man games on one collection? This, we, this has been going on since the PlayStation. Where is Miss Pac-Man? Where is Super Pac-Man? It's not he, here. It's not here. Why not? Why? 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 You know why? Because they're gonna. They want to spread it out. That's why it's not fucking there. Let's see how this is. Is this all right? Or is this a shitty version of Pac-Man? I don't like that background. Can you change it? Sky Kid had a nice background. Let's see if you can change the background. Oh, you can change it. That one sucks too. I mean, at least you can do that. I mean, all right, I can't complain too much. They, they, they made it so you can just have a black background, so that's fine, I guess. Wait, wait, now wait a second. Hold up a second. Now what the fuck are you guys seeing? I can't like pause this at the same time so that you guys can see it. You guys are seeing like all gray like that. I guess that, you know why? Cause that's my monitor. Cause I have the darkness on my monitor down. That's why. So I have the darkness on my monitor dropped a little bit. So to me, it looks like the background is just black. But now I'm looking up there and it looks like it's gray. I guess that's how it actually looks. Why gray? Just make it black. They could, They need to fix whatever. How is the controls? Let's say. I mean, it's fine. It controls well. But I'm also using the Super Nintendo Switch controller, which is the one you want to have for shit like this. Dude, if you're playing all these arcade games... Here. I can never figure out what fucking button it is. It's the R button. It's so weird. Um, make it the fucking start button, too, by the way. But anyway, um, if you're playing any of these arcade games on the Switch, like, you, you know, you want to have the, this Super Nintendo controller. I think it's back in stock. Guys, by the way, I think this thing's back in stock. I Like, when I had to buy it, it was, like, out of stock, and it was, like, 100 bucks or something. But I think you can get this now. Get the Super Nintendo Switch controller. It's the best fucking D-pad for the Switch. I also, I want to see something else. Hold up. So we're just going along. We're playing this. Dude, if I hit start right now, nothing happens. But R. R, R brings up this menu. That make... No. Change that and make it the start button. Why is it R? That's weird. You make You get to the menu by hitting start. Why, why would you make it the R button? This collection isn't bad, but it's got some problems. Let's see what else is going on with this. Like, I love that it has Sky Kid. It should have the other Pac-Man game. At least you get two Galaga games. But what about like Galaxian and like all the other ones? Whatever, am I asking for too much? I don't think I am. These games are like fucking 30 something, 30, 40 years old. Like, is it too much to put? Like, why is it 11 games? There's like an empty spot there. See, under Splatterhouse and next to, next to Pac Man Versus, why? Uh, fill that spot in, put it in another game. Like,. That's just kind of, that empty spot is just like, we could have put another game in. But, but fuck you. We're not putting another game in. All right. Now I'm just, now I'm getting angry. <laughs> Sky Kid's on there though, so I still say buy it. <laughs> Fucking shit. Oh my God. Change it in the controls. Oh, change to the start button with the R button. Maybe you can do that. That is true. But why would it not be the default? 
even if let's say that you can go into that and change it. Let let's just say that that option's available. It should be the default. You shouldn't have to do that. Whatever. It's still it's still a pretty good collection, regardless. Because I've seen, you know, why I think that though, because I've seen way worse. So I think that that's pretty good. Uh, what other fucking games are on here? There's a lot of shit, huh? How long is this stream gonna go? <laughs> it's gonna be a long stream, huh? Uh, arm death. I'll give you an arm death right here. I'll give you a fucking arm death, huh? Let's do arm death. Fuck it. X multiplier or Gemini wing? Let me just check this out real quick. What is this hamster? Who Who's this hamster? Are they doing all this shit? Are they on Twitter? I don't talk, I wanna talk to the hamster. So does Richard Gere. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck, fuck it. Let's try uh, arm death. <laughs> Did you guys see that Sega CD thing? I think it was Sega. No, Sega 32X. Somebody made it. The game is called, I swear to God, this is a real thing. The game is called, like, Richard Gere's Asshole. And the game is, it's like a port of another game. And <laughs> it's just like a tunnel and you're a hamster. I don't know what, what it's a port of. It's a port of, like, another game. And you're just like a hamster, like, running through Richard Gere's Asshole. I'm not kidding. Like, you can look it up on YouTube. I'm sure somebody's got footage of it. <laughs> that guy will always be associated with a hamster. Yeah. Yeah, poor fuck. And, like, he, and like he didn't even actually, like, do that, right? That's the worst. You don't, you don't even actually do something. Like, somebody just makes up a rumor, and then, like, the rest of his life... He's gonna be on his fucking deathbed. He's gonna be like, you know, the family's there. He's like, <laughs> and the fucking doctor walks in. He's like, hey, aren't you the fucking hamster guy? You know, you shoved it up your ass in like 1981 or whatever. And he's just, just like, fucking pull the plug. <laughs> just pull the fucking plug. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, alright. Um, how do you start this fucking thing? Put a fucking quarter in, go. Armed F. Armed F. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> alright. Come on. Armed F. S. Speed, I guess. Bomb. Oh, the side bombs. I played this before, actually. Now I remember this. There's so many shmups. They can blend together, you know? You know what? I'll be the first. You know, you guys know how much I, I love shmups. But a lot of them do blend together. That, that is true. Dude, you know what, what What they fucking need on here? Armed Police Bat Rider. Where's that game on the fucking Switch? That, that game's great. Put that on here. Ninja Baseball Batman. Put that on here. Dude, if they, what are they, they're... Why is Ninja Baseball Batman, you know how much fucking money they make if they put Ninja Baseball Batman on this fucking shit? What are you, stupid? You're, like, somebody is losing. You could buy a house with the money you'd make if you put that fucking game on here. You want to not have a house? Where's the game? Put it on here. I don't even understand how it couldn't be. This game's pretty fucking cool, though. This is armed F. The F stands for fuck farts. <laughs> Do you guys see that Captain Kirk went to space today? He's hanging out with Jeff Bez Bezos. 
So he went to space. I watched the thing. He said, so Captain Kirk goes to space, and this, this is what he had to say. I don't know if you guys saw the video. You can go look at the video. But he goes, uh, he go, they send him up to space, and he's like, you go into space, and everything is black. And then you look down at the earth, and it's, everything's blue. But then you look back, and everything's black. And you look back, and it's blue. What do you think of that? And Jeff Bezos is like, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what it is, Captain. <laughs> Thank you, Zelda's thick booty, for the sub. 90 years old. I mean, it's amazing. Imagine that. It is amazing. Good for him. If anybody should go, if I could have picked one person on the planet to go to space, it would have been him. So I'm glad that he got to go to space. See, something good happened. Image fight, Gradius 3. What else do we got? Uh, somebody in the chat wanted me to play Gemini Wing. Let's try that out. Sorry I didn't play Arm Death very long, but it seemed cool. Bum, bum, bum. Thank you again, Zelda's Thick Booty, for the sub. You used to duck tape your phone to your wiener so when Mike Matei goes live your phone vibrates that's a good idea do you could just like so you take your phone and you get uh like gorilla you get like no don't use gorilla tape because it, I was gonna say just like do gorilla tape around your dick and phone um because I, di I was thinking I didn't want you know you don't want your phone to like fall off in the middle of like you're doing something else during the day, but that the when you go to like watch the stream, you'd have to rip the gorilla tape off, and that would probably hurt. So probably use like, um, I don't know, just use a different type of tape. Uh, like if there's like frog tape, you could do that. Would probably be better. Like you know for uh, painting, do like frog tape. So just wrap the frog tape around your cock and phone a bunch, and then exactly. But do not forget to put it on vibrate so that when the stream goes live, uh, you I don't want you to miss the stream, basically, is what I'm trying to say. This is Gemini Wing. Electrical tape? No, 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 I'd say they use like frog tape. Cause I feel that comes off pretty, see the frog tape is for painting. So here, hang on, I'll, I'll show you what you do. Here, hang on a second. We're gonna, I'll, I'll describe this to you. So. So this, so this, so this is what you want to do. So I got, I actually have some frog tape. So the frog tape should come off pretty easy. See, so if you use, you have gorilla tape around here, we can show the opposite effect. So you get your phone, you can tie it. Let's see if this would actually work. So you get the phone, and you wrap the phone around your cock. Like, like so, and then it's hanging there, and then, bring, 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 I'm streaming, or it says, fuck, and then you, there you go, see, you're all, you're all good to go, so that actually works really good, frog tape, see, I should do the commercials for frog tape, works perfectly in certain situations. You can use it for uh, painting, and you can use it for your Twitch go live uh, notifications. Excellent, excellent usage. All right, so this is Gemini Wing. Look at that bunny. He's, he, that, why do all rabbits do that? Wait. That's what Bugs Bunny does. Motherfucking Bugs Bunny is always leaning against the tree. You guys have seen the Bugs Bunny. He's always leaning against the fucking tree with the arm out. Why do rabbits do that? Rabbits have a thing against leaning. They're always leaning against the wall with their leg like that. Him and Bugs. All right, here we go. Let's try this out. Oh, 
collecting blue balls. So what year was this game? I'm gonna guess 94, maybe, 93? That's my guess when this came out. It's hard to know sometimes. Maybe it could be the 80s, I don't know. 89? I wonder. Anybody got a year on this one? Let's say 87, very advanced. Wow, 87. I, I would not have guessed 87 for sure. gonna be dragon an eyeball a crab a, uh, like a sea lion fuck By the way, I totally forgot about like bombs and stuff. Yeah, get out of here. I feel bad for him. Poor sea lion. This is cool. Gemini. Gemini. Gemini man? What was it? Gemini something? What's the name of this? Somebody help me. I have the memory of a goldfish. Gem I know it's Gemini something. Gemini something. Gemini wing? Gemini wing, thank you. I mean, that's generic enough of a name to not remember. This is cool though, I like it so far. I like it, I like it. But you guys know, that's no surprise. You guys know me, I like my vertical shmups. One of my favorite things. Shit. You guys know that company, uh, Cinematronics? I think they did Star Castle. Am I not wrong? I might be wrong. Or is that just like Atari? <laughs> uh, but they did like Jack the Giant Killer. Fuck. Um, anyway, they made a lot of old games from like the early 80s and I kind of, I wish that, the, that uh, they'd come out with some kind of Cinematronics collection. Thank you, Bindy Lead, for the sub. They did a bunch of vector-based games. Yeah, exactly. That's why I like them. Um, I think they did some raster stuff, too. Metal Slug. Oh, my God. So many different things. Let's do... I want to do another round of Donkey Kong 3, if you don't mind, for a few minutes. I'm, I keep itching to do that. And then we'll play something else. Weirdo Tom, thank you very much for the sub. Weirdo Tom's back. Thank you. Got a lot of subs today, and I appreciate that, guys. Centipede recharged. Oh yeah, I can try that too. That's like uh, so they need. So I guess Atari's making new versions of their old games. So they have uh, like Missile Command recharged, Centipede recharged, and they're coming out with 
Black Widow recharged, so that's cool. I hope they keep going with that. I, I like I like the idea of that. It's neat. But still, once again, it would be nice. Centipede recharged would have been a perfect game for them to also release a physical trackball controller. Perfect game. But they did not. Thanks, Weirdo, Weirdo Tom, for the sub. Can I just, like, restart? Game, game reset, yes. Yes, I want to reset. you to get it for the Atari VCS. Uh, does the Atari VCS have a trackball? I didn't, well, I didn't think about that. I forgot that that was like a thing. That new Atari. I saw it at a store and I was like, oh yeah, that's a thing. I guess it would, I guess it would have a trackball, right? I should probably pick that up. Maybe I should pick that up and we can do a stream of it and see what that's all like. Blowing smoke up Donkey Kong's ass. That's my favorite activity. Smack your balls. Get up there. All right. The music is crazy nutso. Thank you, DJK367, for the sub. I did have a good vacation. Thanks. game though. It's fun. What? Come on. Mm. Fuck. God damn it. So some rounds are easier than others. Let me get, let me break 45, come on. <sighs> Fuck. Just like knock the HDMI. That's one thing that, about the Switch also that bothers me is if, if I hit anything, like the HDMI like gets fucked up, Dude, with the NES, I can be smashing on shit. Usually, it's fine. The NES was built to, like, take some abuse. The Switch, I'm like, dink! And it's like, oh, gonna turn off for a second. Fuck you. Shouldn't things be more durable? 
20, 30 years later, not less durable. The fuck, you know? All right, let's see what else. I'll, I might come back to that, though. I like Donkey Kong 3 a lot. Um, There's another shmup. I forget. What was the other shmup somebody wanted me to play? Let me see. Donkey Kong 3, Double Dragon, Earth Defense. Gradius image fight. Oh, X Multiply was the one. Let's do X Multiply. That was the game. Bump, 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 bump. Donkey Kong is immune to bee stings. Isn't that interesting? IREM. Yeah, more IREM stuff. There you go. How many IREM games are on Switch right now? Made in 1989 by IREM. Like, all, put, put all the... I want a big IREM collection for Switch. Just just have IREM and all the games. I'll buy it. PlayStation controllers can't be thrown. Um, like, the, uh, like, PS1... Kinda can, not as much. Like NES controllers, you can you can abuse pretty fucking bad. Super Nintendo controllers, you don't. You need to be kind of careful with them. Um, Genesis controllers, maybe. I can't even think of a control other than like NES was like you could chuck a fucking NES controller and not, like it'll be pretty much fine. That's pretty much the most durable one I can think of. IREM owns Ninja Baseball Batman. They need to release that. They See? IREM collection for Switch. We need it. Ooh, here, see, I'm gonna move this over again. There.
fuck me up. Gotta go in between those, huh? Can't shoot any of this. No. Oof. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, man. Mm. Wow. Like every shmup, don't lose your items. Well, this game, this game's great. I'd play that more, but we got a lot of stuff to do. Maljack just gifted out a bunch of subs to the community. Odd Giant got a gift sub. Show Buddy, Peter Wiseman 2, Hi 6, J Lobo, It's Wesker, Argia236, Weathered Pecker. How you doing, Weathered Pecker? Good to see you again. Gamer01, Grim Reaper 47 and Critical 590 all got gift subs from Maljack. Thank you very much, Maljack. Once again, he's gift subbed a lot of subs on this channel, so I appreciate that. Um, so just going through some of the things I played already. X Multiply, cool game. Donkey Kong 3, I love Donkey Kong 3. Gemini Wang w was cool. I should probably play that like more in depth. Armed F was all right. Namco Museum should have more games on it. It's a little bit of a mess, but it's not too bad. I'd say it's worth buying. It's got Sky Kid, Flashback, Classics, a whole bunch of stuff on that. Like, I could spend, a, a, like, a whole stream on that collection. Burger Times, you know, classic. I, I like the Sea Fighter Poseidon game. I don't care what anybody says. Like, I thought it was fun. Van Dyke was cool. Circus Charlie was, I like Circus Charlie. Puyan's good. Naughty Boy, I don't like Naughty Boy. That one I could say you could skip, in my opinion. But, I don't know, there's probably somebody out there that likes it. Uh, Blazing Star is always fun. Pole Star, that game's hard. Um, what else do we got? I mean, Donkey Kong, you know. Um, I gotta get Donkey Kong Jr., they have that on here. I thought I already bought that. Lightning Fighters, what else? Kangaroo, we should play Kangaroo. Puyan, Rygar, the arcade Sunset Riders. Okay, so my thing about Sunset Riders, I like the controls in the Genesis version of Sunset Riders because it lets you like lock your character. You know, like uh, uh, Blazing Chrome or something like that, or even the the new uh, um, the one Ryan's doing. Um, what's it called? Iron Meat. Where, you know, when you can, like, it's, like, Contra style, but you can lock your c character in place, and, you know, you can, you can fire, you can, st you can lock the character, and then you can fire. I guess Contra Hardcore does that, too, right? Um, I like when you're able to do that. The arcade Sunset Riders and the Super Nintendo Sunset Riders, because the Super Nintendo Sunset Riders is more closer to a port of the arcade version. And they, I'm going to, I'm going to put it on, because I want to, I want to explain it. That's my thing about the Super Nintendo and the arc and the arcade version of Sunset Riders. I prefer to be able to like lock your character um, in place, and the Genesis has that. So, and for me, it's always gameplay over graphics and stuff. I, I will say I think the graphics are probably nicer on you know on the arcade, you know, obviously. But um, so that's my thing with Sunset Riders. Never know what fucking button to hit with these things. Hardcore does that, yeah. Uh, Travis is May. Thank you very much for the sub. Play AVGN. Oh, yeah, you saw I have that on here. I, I've streamed the hell out of AVGN and AVGN Deluxe, so, th th you know, they're really good, obviously. Yeah, I'm, sure, I'm sure you guys have played it. If you haven't, you should. I helped work on those. Boom, look at this. Hey, partner. I just want to confirm again that what I'm talking about is true. Let me say this. So, yeah, so R and L doesn't, 
Well, for one thing, L on this puts in another credit. So, but yeah, R doesn't, I'm holding down R right now, it doesn't lock it. And that's the slide. So it's fine, it's just like, I guess, you know, it's just like a different way to do it. But I do prefer, you know what would be cool? How about like an arcade version of Sunset Riders and somebody can mod it and put in the lock thing? Cause, Cause then what I find, I'll see if I can make an example of the, of why I don't like it, but, I mean, there's a reason that was invented in games, you know? I mean, I don't have to explain it, do I? You guys already understand, right? But basically, like, you know, let's say, damn it, that thing blew up. <laughs> let's say I wanted to, here's a good example, like, shoot, having a hard time getting a good example, like, Like that, these chickens down here. You gotta be like walking like back and forth instead of just being able to like lock yourself in place and shoot the thing. That, oh, you know what though? You can duck and do it. I didn't realize that. So if you're ducking, see, see, if if you're ducking, you can do it. But but not if you're standing, and that's the problem. At least you can do it when you're ducking. See, I can I can shoot one spot. I didn't realize you could do it with, with ducking. So, I mean, that's kind of half what I want, but I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to hit R and lock the character and be able to do that. You know, like, like Contra Hardcore. So that's, yeah, so that's my problem with Sunset Riders Arcade, unfortunately. Gun dot smoke. Dude, gun dot, dot smoke is not on here either. That's another game that should be on here, I, I wish that was on here. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that they don't have, but um, let's do kangaroo. Vasquez rocks, that's right. The Gorn. Dun 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 When I was a little kid I used to love to play this game. I'm I'm I've always been very nostalgic for Kangaroo. It's not the best game at all or anything, but it's just one of those arcade classics that was around back then. It's a cute little game. It's, it's not easy. Ring the bell. The Atari version is harder because you see these logs I'm bouncing on right here? In the Atari version, those logs are just like lines and it's very hard to kind of make out how to make the jumps. It's not a very good port. So it's nice to have a good uh, home port of Kangaroo, because this is way more playable than the Atari 2600 version. And then I think it was also on 5200, but you guys know the deal with that, with the controller and everything. But I do have a working controller now. I might have played that in my 5200 stream I did a while back. I forget though. I'm guessing like I'm supposed to do this. I, I don't even know what you do here. Fuck. I don't even remember this. Wow. Oh, you can duck under it, okay. God. Oh my god, that's cheap. You have to jump there. Dude, I was on the edge of the thing. You can't just like walk off it. 
you have to jump off of it. That's annoying. I'm gonna play this one more time. Dude, I don't care. Just, like, fucking go. God damn it. It's so weird. I always want it to be start, to start the fucking game, and... Because there's, it's like L to put in the coin, and then it's R to... It's, it's like, not how I would do it. Motherfucker, come on. The rest of the stream is kangaroo. That's it. I have the marquee for this game. I think it's in my bathroom. And it uh it's not a very good marquee. Unfortunately. It's just, it like I think it just says kangaroo. It's like not, it's not a good one. Like they easily could have made like a nice, you know, some nice art for it. Oh my God. Fucking monkeys. What the worst monkeys were is the ones in uh, Legendary Axe. Oh my God. Like later in the game. Jump up there. What? It's... No. No. What was that? Thank you, 240PZA, for the sub. Dude, I want to get through that house. Fucking knock these bastards out. I need the high score in Kangaroo. The high score is probably like a bazillion trillion. I guess you really have to pay attention to what their sprite looks like to know if they're gonna throw high or low, and I don't know yet. Can they throw when they're climbing on the tree or do they have to get down to the bottom? They do this sort of like underhand thing. Come on, get the fucking baby kangaroo guy. I could totally fix that too. It's fuck. I need another person to take control of that. I need a DJ. Oh, there's a little ladder there. That was the problem. You can't just jump up. Motherfucker! Fuck out of here. I want to knock down that house on the next screen. I need those extra lives that you probably get through this. This shit, man. It's, it's these fucking monkeys. They come out and they throw the fucking apples. Mm. My god. This, this is insane. Is there an easier... Is there like another method to that? Holy shit. Is there some other fucking method to that? Or did you just have to knock those all out? Holy shit. Dude, I, we're, I'm doing this. We're sitting here and doing this. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Summoning salt is here? Okay. 
He's a fellow YouTuber? Thank you. Well, I'm, I'm sure, you know, I know sometimes some of you guys have Twitch channels and YouTube channels and stuff. I don't know. When I, when I go on YouTube, I'm looking up, like, uh, I don't know. Clips of, like, who's the boss? So, sometimes people are like, Mike, who's your favorite YouTuber? I'm like... I don't know, Tony Danza? Like, <laughs> I don't know. That's not really what I do with YouTube too much. I don't usually watch a lot of other YouTubers. If I turn on YouTube, honestly, it's I'm usually like, uh, I wonder if they got a, uh, an, old, an old ALF commercial on here. You know? Or <laughs> something like that. So, I don't know. I watch some old, like, Atari commercials or something. Norm Macdonald commercials. Oh yeah, like when he was uh, the KFC, Colonel Sanders. Yeah, I like Norm Macdonald. Oh, no. oh, you can, oh, you can punch the apples too. be another thing you can do. Right? Sure. I... No. I, whatever. It doesn't matter. Fuck you, it says. That's what it seems to be. Alright, anybody got I any ideas on that third fucking screen he said he's a fan of yours okay I didn't see it but thank you uh, for summoning salt light bright there you go yeah oh you're talking about what I watch on YouTube yeah exactly like light bright commercial <laughs> exactly that's exactly right or skip it, skip it, do I pop pop, do I pop, but the very best thing of all, there's a counter on this ball, try to get your very best score, see if you can jump a whole lot more, so skip it, skip it, do I pop pop, do I pop, or like, uh, yeah, old, old commercials, for sure, it's tough getting out of bed, to face all the chores ahead When there's Folgers to brew And it's decaffeinated too The best part of waking up Is Folgers in your cup That's pretty much what I'm doing on YouTube That's what I'm watching for the most part <laughs> Mike, what's your favorite YouTuber? Um, the, the Folgers coffee. <laughs> now the feeling's right. See the morning in a whole new light. There's hard work to be done. Another day has begun. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your Pretty much. Come on! Ah! Ah! Folgers in your cup, motherfucker!
you! Oh, we got another one! A lot of extra lives here. Can't complain too much. Go down the ladder. Yeah, fuck off. You too, you too. I have another? How did I get this many? Well, I did great until that. Wow, that, wow, it gets even harder. That's what she said. <sighs> Can it like put in, I never know what button to hit. No, just whatever. All right. That's kangaroo. <laughs> All right, what else? What else do we got? What else? Uh, hmm. Life force, life force. That's salamander. Um, Sky Skipper, Tin Star. Tin Star was interesting. I don't know. Um, Devil Engine, Dragon Blaze. What else did you guys want to say? Um, Pac Man 99. Pac Man 99 is always fun. Oh, this shooting star thing is cool. There's just too much. Dude, and I want, I really want, I really got, I'm gonna do a whole stream probably of this cruising blast. Have you guys seen this fucking cruising blast game? This shit's cool. Um, and the, yeah, and I have Metro, I haven't even played any Metroid Dread yet. So at some point I'll look at it. Um, Dragon Blaze is a masterpiece. Oh my God, Dragon Blaze, dude, it, 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 yeah. Have you guys seen Dragon Blaze ever? Dragon Blaze is like one of the best, like vertical shmups. Honestly, it's, you got this dragon and that like it shoots upwards and shit. Um, ba -ba -ba. Whatever. I haven't played this in a while. the R button. I didn't know what button it was. Alright, so you can shoot the dragon off like that and then and then bring him back. This game is so good. This is probably one of my favorite vertical shmups, uh, honestly. Like every time I go back to play it, like I love I did a stream of this years ago. Um it's been a long time, but this is such a good game. It's very hard. I made it to the fifth stage. Um, I was trying to do it like on one credit a long time ago, and I think I made it to the fifth stage. I never beat it on one credit, but I think the fifth might be the last, and then you do like this shit. This game is so great. If you have a Switch, you should buy this game. Like, if you, if you want to, like, play, like, a good um, shmup. This one's just really good. It's good because, like, it adds in... It's, like, the this mechanic of shooting, like, the dragon off and, like, sucking them back is a lot different than you'll see in a lot of other games. And it's just top-quality sprite work. Like, you don't really get much better... Like, honestly, this is, like, one of the best, I think. It's up, it's up there, at least. Like, just everything's so full of detail, and... I don't know, like, 
like who did the sprite work on this, but like they are just like top, the top quality artists. But um, anyway, that game, that game's fantastic. Like, should you should have that game. Um. But this will, that again will turn into a Dragon Blade stream. That's the thing. Some of these games is like I can just stream, like make it the whole stream, you know. Um, I don't know. I don't. Know. What do you think? Did I play enough games? <laughs> is that we good? How about I don't know. What's this? Did I play this one yet? This Ninja Kazan. I might have played this in the beginning of the stream. Let me check this out. Centipede. Oh, I keep forgetting about Centipede Recharge. I'll I'll, I'll put it on. Sorry, let me just play this for a minute. If I didn't already earlier. The fuck? The fuck? I don't really know this. Okay, so, alright, so we're in the United States. Like. Colorado or whatever. This seems like a game that would have been ported to the NES, but wasn't. I like the arrows that are just like, you have to go this way. The shop or something. I give this to you. Cool. Oh, a cheetah? You know. In, in the USA, we have so many cheetahs. Just everywhere. You know, on my way to Wawa in New, in New Jersey, there's, a, there's just cheetahs everywhere in New Jersey. They're on every street corner. Pretty much, not every street corner, but you know, just about every street corner. You'll see a cheetah. Lions, too. A lot of lions around here. Oh my god. Oh. Great. It's a great game. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not that one. Maybe you don't need that game. Uh, Alright, so we the chat wanted to see the recharged, reloaded centipede game. If I can find it, there it is. All right. Bump 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 bump. Thank you, Low Life Dirtbag, for the sub and Shinobi three seventy eight. Low Life Dirtbag says hello, fucker. Hello, Low Life Dirtbag. How are you today, low life dirt bag? <laughs> All right, centipede recharged. Oh, see the problem here? Shit. <laughs> okay, hang on a second. Uh. Let me see if I can fix this situation. No D-pad for that. I can fix this, I can fix this. All right, so now I'm on Pro Controller. The reason, so the reason I do this, I, the D-pad, is better on the Super Nintendo than on the uh, the Pro Controller, but 
the Super Nintendo controller has no con control sticks, so that's the problem with that. There's always some kind of problem, right? Fix it, Felix. Why? Because I because I fixed it. <laughs> as long as it's not the human centipede. <laughs> this is the human centipede for the Nintendo. I wonder if you can adjust the sensitivity of the. Hang on a second. You can. Drop it down a little bit. I feel like right about there might be right. Let's see if it is. Better. I'm gonna actually. Centipede recharged. There was a space and like a redone Space Invaders a while back to Space Invaders something or other, whatever that was called a few years ago. It was kind of neat actually. I think I streamed it. Kind of like neon version of Space Invaders. It wasn't bad. It wasn't. Or it wasn't terrible. Whatever that game was. So one death on this is just see how far you can make it. I kind of like that if that's what it is. No, you don't get lives. I think I like that. If that's what it is. Stay alive, motherfucker. thing. Okay. I should have grabbed that later, huh? Oh, you can kill the... Oh, that's a cool item. Hope I get another one of those. I'd like to get that again. I mean, this is pretty cool. Definitely adjust the sensitivity, like I, I did in the beginning. Oh, fuck. So that was, what did I get? 9740. This is cool, I like it. Are there any animated shows you currently watch? If not, what was the last animated show 
you had any interest in. Oh, I like uh, Felix the Cat from like not the 1919, like silent animation. Uh, that's probably the last one. Uh, mostly uh, David the Gnome. David the Gnome is good. Those two, just those two. No, I don't know, man. I like old Looney Tunes. Um, there's a lot of animation I like. I'm more of a traditional animation guy. I like the old Fleischer cartoons and stuff like that. But you're talking about new animation? I mean, I liked... Uh, what was new? I mean, I like the He-Man uh, show from 2002. That's not super new, though. What's new that I like, um, as far as animation goes? Um, the new Transformers show was all right. The one that was on Netflix. Um, I don't know. There's probably something that's good. I don't really know. That's cool. Oh shit, can I just like, the fuck? Oh my god. Uh, this is fun, I like this. Space Ghost Coast to Coast, there you go. Cartoon Planet. You like the Castlevania series? Uh, it's all right, I don't know. I didn't finish watching it, but it was fine. I didn't dislike it. Uh, I'm gonna try it again. I, like, I think I like this game. I could see myself sitting here playing this for a very long time. So that's a good sign. I think they might have did a good job with this. I still say it would be cool if there was a fucking trackball controller for this. But if you adjust your sensitivity, the, uh, the control stick isn't too bad. this weapon. This is fucking me up here. Let's get this thing. Not having... Fuck. You, the, you want that fucking spread weapon, though. That's for sure. Now I'm curious how the missile command recharged is. Trying to clear out some of these mushrooms. They see this shit. Fuck. Explosive bullets.
lock. I don't know if I can pull this out of the fire. What the fuck is this ghost? Oh my god, what? Does that make them go in the other direction? Or were they scared so they left? <laughs> is that what that meant? That was awesome if that's true. Boy, that helped. Happy Halloween. There you go. Happy Halloween. The centipede. Even the centipede is scared of ghosts. I like that. That was neat. God, and the ghost was right there. Yeah, this is good. I like it. I could fucking play this for a long time. Uh, it, this this makes me want to keep playing. I, I like it. It's good. Yeah, that's a good. That's good. Get it. Um, sen get centipede. Get dragon blaze. You should have dragon blaze. Like that game's amazing. Um, I mean, Donkey Kong was good. Donkey Kong Gray. Um, I don't know. I don't fucking know. So what am I missing here that you guys know that's on Switch that I, that you don't see on here that you're like, yo, what the fuck? Why don't you have it? Well, like honestly, what would you say? Um, and there's there's other games that I have that I have to like re-download or whatever, but that's mostly shit games. Um, I don't know, like, the, I have that. <laughs> That's, that was a long time ago. This, that was fucking shit. Oh, Gun, Guardian Force. Did I try this? This Guardian Force thing? I don't even know. Let's look at this. S SNK. I think, you know what, I think I bought that on something else. Is that on PS4 or something? I'll write it down just in case. I feel like I already bought that. Xeno Crisis. Don't I have that? Dark Castle. Saturn Tribute games have horrible lag. Oh, do that? I, I haven't played it, so I don't know. This is my first time even looking at it. What is this? I feel like I'm noticing a little bit of lag, actually. Also, hold up. Like, I have the bright I have the brightness on my TV, so, like... I needed to get a TV that makes it easier to, like... Bring the brightness up and down. So my brightness is so low. Because some screens are, like, blindingly, like, white. And other screens are, like, I want to drop it, so, I, like, I'm always doing that. was like a little bit more expensive too.
Let me, let me see what you guys are talking about. Your asshole's lagging. That's good. Missile command recharged. Yeah, I'll 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 buy that. I'm gonna, I, I didn't get it yet. That dev has been horrible with input lag, and of course they're doing it to the a port of death miles. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. There's been a lot of port of death, ports of death miles though at this point. So, like, I think I'm pretty sure it's on Steam. And um, I have an original copy for Japanese 360. But uh, let's see what else we could play. How about... Mm, I suck at City Connection, but I could try it. Maybe. What else is interesting? Like Force in the Hunt. In the Hunt's a beautiful game, but I played it before. You guys have seen that, right? Rygar? How about Rygar? Dungeon Warfare. Oh, yo, I just heard, I think there's Dungeon Warfare 2, apparently. Um, which I'm doing, uh, so I'm playing more, like, arcade games today. This isn't, this stream isn't about, like, just Switch games in general, really. It was more about, like, playing arcade games. But, yeah, Dungeon Warfare is a great tower defense game. One of the best that I've played, honestly. Dungeon Warfare and, uh, um... Defense Grid. Those games are amazing. You should get those if you don't have them. Depends what version, though. Just, what the hell? Start. I hate how these games start. I will say that. Like, I wish. I wish they just all came up with that. That'd be nice. Just come up with the the game. I guess they're trying to give you instructions on what the buttons are. That's fine. I guess. Whatever. I'm not gonna complain too much. Yes, I am. I'm totally gonna complain. <laughs> what else is the point of this, right? Oh, Willow. Yeah, what about Willow, the arcade game? Put that on here. So many things. And this guy's weapon is the thing I want for Christmas. This is the disc armor. Isn't it funny how different Rygar is on in the arcade versus... Uh... Yeah, okay, I like these graphics a lot. They're very colorful. Like the enemies, the controls seem to be fine. There's one thing that I really don't like about this though. I hate his voice. Like, they should have not had that. That. <laughs> it's so annoying. That's my that's my one big complaint here. Otherwise, it's fine. It's like 1942 has that problem. Like, it seems like the game's fine, but the fucking, it's like humping that thing. The, the sound effects sometimes just drive you crazy. He's got a sore throat. Regular, oh God, I don't, I don't think regular R type is on this either. By the way, yet, and it's funny because the new R type is out, um, but they didn't even put the original on there. But you know what? I guess it's on the Turbo Graphic 16 Mini, isn't it? I think it is. So I mean, if you have that, you know, I think that's probably the port you want of. 
our type, but I feel like they should have like Switch should just get like regular R type. It's super R type on the. Let's look. So the, I mean that's the arcade Rygar. It's. I'd rather play the NES Rygar. It's fine though. It's not bad. Let's see if Super R type is on the SNES collection. That's on here. Better be. Fucking better have Super R type. We're about to find out. Like, let's see. See what I'm fucking saying? You see what I'm saying about this shit? Where's Super R-Type? Where is Super R-Type? Also, like, what are some, like, bomb, bomb woozle? What the fuck is that? Where are, like, what are these games? Look at the, look at the first four games. Breath of Fire, I mean, I've heard of Breath of Fire, but Joe and Mac. Is that even the real box cover of Joe and Mac? Wait a second, what? Hang on a second. I guess I'm thinking a lot. The Lost Tropics one is the one that I recognize. That art is like, I don't, that's not the art that I recognize. Anyway, Claymates. That's the, and that's the box of Claymates? What? I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, wait, you know why? You know why? Because I'm thinking of Clay Fighter. Yeah. Sorry, I had like a brain fart for a second. I was like, dude, I was thinking, I would, in my head right there, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, Clay Fighter. That's cool that they have that. Claymates. Dude, where's Clay Fighter? Dude, Clay, you got, have you guys ever played Clay Fighter? That game's fucking cool. I'm not even really into fighting games, but, like, it's got, like, this, like, um, claymation look to it, and it's fucking cool as shit. Like, where's Clay Fighter? I mean, Don, you know, that Demon's Crest, that's good. Donkey Kong, that's good. You know, that's fine. F-Zero, that's good. Oh, that, that cover for Joe and Mac. That's the one I was thinking of. Okay, so they, they do have that. That's good. Jelly Boy, I always thought that that's his fucking cock, and his cock's exploding into, you know, a big wad of um, fucking cum. The load, the load was huge. It, it, like, look at that. Look at his cock shooting out, and then the fucking, the pink head of his cock, and then it's, it's shooting cum. My chat really likes cum. And that's a huge load right there. Ignition Factor. I don't even know that game. What about the Firemen? I mean, to be fair, that's Super Famicom. But isn't there Super Famicom shit? Yeah, like, look. So it's not just, like, just regular Super Nintendo. They have Super Famicom stuff. So what about the Firemen? They need to have me help them with the game selection, I think. I'm doing it right now. Like, n listen to me. This is not... Okay, Star Fox, great. That's good. Earth Defense Force, that, that's good. Mario Kart, that's probably my favorite Super Nintendo game. That's great. That's on there. Super Mario Officers. I mean, they have some good stuff. But, like, they're missing, like, so much shit. Fuck. 
Chrono Trigger. Is Chrono Trigger on here? Like Final Fantasy 2 and 3? Like, where are those? Um. Was Contra on here? Like, where's Super. Where's Contra? Like, Alien Wars? Fucking, like. You know, I know some of this stuff is, like, owned by other companies, but, like, shouldn't Nintendo just pay? Like, let's say, like, Contra, can't they just pay Konami and be like, hey, here's some money, like, so we can put, like, so we can put Contra on here? Because what kind of fucking Super Nintendo collection doesn't have Contra? Where's Mega Man? Where's Mega Man X? How about this? Pay Capcom to stick it in there. They should stick it in there. How about Legend of the Mystical Ninja? Is that on here? Hell. No. Where's Legend of the Mystical Ninja? Is Pilot Wings on here? Pilot Wings is on there. Okay, they got Pilot Wings. I mean, like, I could, this, I could go on all fucking day with this shit. What about fucking, like... <laughs> what about Final Fight? Well, Final Fight is probably in some Capcom collection, so whatever. How about Uniracers? Is Uniracers on here? Where's Uniracers? Why is there no Uniracers? Adventures of Batman and Robin. Well, they're not going to do that. To be fair, they probably would have to pay like a shit ton of money to have Batman, so I get that much. I'm not going to give them a hard time about that. Like, like the fucking St Super Star Wars games. They're never going to pay for that. How about that? How about Nintendo pays? Doesn't Nintendo have some kind of relationship with, like, Star Wars people? Can't they fucking get the Star Wars games in here? Can't they fucking pay, like, a little bit of money? Like, here, here's 50 bucks. Let us put Star Wars on here. I'm sure it'd be more than 50 bucks. But you think, like, maybe they could, like, work out an arrangement to get some of these fucking games on here? Like, because this this page does not represent what the Super Nintendo it is. It doesn't represent the Super Nintendo very well. Like, it's got some games, but, like... Where is Madden NFL 94? That fucking better be on here. I know, this is fucking... Uh, Pocky and Rocky. How about that game? Is that on here? Pilot Wings, Poppin' Twin B. It would have been right there between those. Where is Pocky and Rocky? No Pocky and Rocky. Rock and Roll Racing. Where is that? I don't see it. Where is Turtles and Time? Can't they fucking pay somebody? Dude, the, fu the, the n new Ninja Turtle game is going to come out? That reshelled shit? And they don't have Turtles and Time on here? This is a great time for them to, like, you know, give somebody, like, a $100 bill. Like, slip them a $100 bill and be like, yo, we need Turtles in Time on our fucking thing. Because right now, we got, we got, we got Psycho Dream. So we need, like, Turtles in Time. Let's see what Psycho Dream is. Maybe Psycho Dream is better than Turtles in Time. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Maybe this is more worth playing than Turtles in Time is. Let's see. Is it, they didn't bother to do a translation, did they? If, if you're gonna put it on here, can you have like a tra like translation? I'm sure there's a fan who would love to do that, and they'd probably do it for free. Like, right? Aren't there people that, like, like to do that? Slip somebody, like, some money to fucking translate. Apple, 3 a.m. 
prehistoric turtle -saurus. I mean, this is alright, I guess. I've seen, I mean, I've seen worse. I don't know. Anyway, I'll, I'll get off of that subject. There's no fucking turtles in time, that's for fucking sure. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> Bury my shell at Wounded Peen. You can run. How about Mighty Morphin Power Ranger? Yeah, I mean, like, the list goes on and on. What about the Lion King? You know what? They don't need that. Fuck the Lion King. Dude, I beat the Lion King on Super Nintendo and on Genesis. Fuck that shit. That's one that they cannot have. I'm fine with that. What about Aladdin? Aladdin I like. Put fucking Aladdin on there. Like, what are you fucking doing? Where the fuck is fucking Aladdin? Where the fuck zombies ate my neighbors? Fucking zombies ate my neighbors, motherfucker. Where zombies ate my fucking neighbors? Motherfucker. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Whatever. All right, anyway, I was supposed to be doing arcade games. <laughs> what about the Wizard of Oz? Why don't they have the Wizard of Oz? <laughs> right? I want to try this game. Let's try this game. Hamster. Fucking Richard Gere. <laughs> Home Alone 2. Yeah, where's Home Alone 2? Where, where is, um... What's the game with the nerd, the nerd, um... The Lester the Unlikely. Where's the Lester the Unlikely? Where's the Rocketeer? Aren't they making, like, a new Rocketeer movie? Whatever. Let's see this shit. <laughs> Bart's nightmare, there, exactly. Look at that scrolling background. Oh my god, dead? I didn't even see what hit me. Little, little bullet. Oh, it can hold it down. I didn't realize. Okay. Okay, we got like a bomb. Oh, shit. I like the graphics. This is not bad. This might be a good game here. Has anybody in my chat, have you guys ever played this game? Anybody? I have never even seen this before today. Pretty nice. I'd like to see a boss or something. Ooh. This isn't hurting him, right? Do I have to do that? Maybe I have to use my specials? I'm supposed to save him for the... Do you have to have specials to hit this thing? That can't be right. I don't know if I like that. You should be able to kill him with your regular weapon. I was probably just doing something wrong. Maybe the bombs that you drop from above 
like the missiles or whatever, maybe that hurts them. Maybe. Like, you know what would be cool that they got on here? Like, like Terminator? You know, arcade game? Shit like that? There's so much stuff. It goes on and on with so many arcade games they could fucking have on here that they don't. What else? What else? What else? The fucking Double Dragon? Let's do fucking Double Dragon, you kidding me? Punch, get punched in the fucking stomach. That's what Double Dragon's all about. Getting punched in the fucking stomach. Hamster. Hamster is doing all this stuff, huh? I don't have to talk to Hamster. And tell them the games that they need to get. Mystic Riders? I don't know. Bum, 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 I, no, I have not played Metroid Dread yet. Let me guess, is Kraid in it? <laughs> there you go. this game in the arcade in Disney World when I was like eight years old in the hotel I was like in the Grand Floridian and like an arcade instead of I probably spent a lot of money <laughs> but pumping in those quarters I mean, I did it on one credit. That's what I meant to say. Look at this, a bobo. Got a lot of slowdown. Damn. I'm so much more familiar with the NES game. Does this have Machine Gun Willy, too? One-eyed Willy. Yeah! yeah! Blah! <laughs> Mickey Mouse's hand com comes up. That cat's not in the NES game. Fuck. Yeah, it's like a lot of slowdown on this. Is that the game or is this not a good port? Look at look at that. It might just be how the game is, I don't even know. It's like so much it is so much slowdown. I don't know. Alright. Double dragon. I don't know. I'd rather play the NES game. I'd rather play Centipede Recharged. <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you. Do 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 do. What else? Um. What other games? Let's see. We got Pop Flamer. We've got Frisky Tom. Let's play. Let's try Frisky Tom. What's Frisky Tom got to do? You think it's crappy emulation? I think so too. Don't get the double dragon on this, I, I would say, in my opinion. The emulation is not too hot. 
Remember the, oh, one of the worst ones I saw? It was on... There was a version of Contra I played. Like, you unlock Contra, I think. Like, the NES Contra on the DS game of Contra 4, I think. And it's really bad. Like, Contra 4 is a great game, but the port that they did of regular Contra on that is, like, fucking horrible. Okay, I've never played this, so I don't even know what you do, so... Climb this shit? I don't even know what you're supposed to fucking do. Push it into the. I have fucking no idea. I don't even know what button. Alright, so he's holding this green thing. Put it in this bucket or something? Can you drop these? Dude, I have no fucking idea. I don't know. I have to, like, figure out how to play that later or something. I don't know. I don't know how to play it. Don't know. What else? through a lot, most of these. Uh, there, I mean, there's Earth Defense for Oh, City Connection, we can do that. Fix the leak? Yeah, but how? I, like, I don't know what the controls are. Trap the mice in your asshole. Oh, I should have known. That's what you have to do. Flicky on this? I should have Flicky. Blazing Star, Blazing Star Contra. I'm gonna do Gradius 2. Wanna do Gradius 2? Let's do Gradius 2. How about Lightning Fighter? Lightning Fighters? I don't know. Did most of these things. Thunder Dragon. I wanna see Thunder Dragon. Let's see that. City connections like bump and jump in an alternate dimension. Yeah, I mean, kind of, right? You got your... Uh, Mike, I got my dick stuck in the VHS machine again. Uh, uh, stop putting... Sticking it in there?
It's not advised when you're watching Beethoven. Beethoven, Beethoven's fourth. All, all eight Beethoven movies. Has them all on VHS. What did I tell you about sticking your dick in the VCR? What did I tell you about sticking your dick in the VCR? That's what the pig's for! <laughs> He thought his it would fit in it because his dick is rectangular. Well, that's the big bigger problem. Apparently, he's a robot. Oh, here. So I'm like half paying attention to this. Fuck. It's like power-ups or, I don't know. This just seems like the most, like, average shmup I've ever seen in my life. I don't know about that one. Fuck, like, forget that one. Let's play a better one. What else do we got? How about, how about Arrow Fighters 3? Let's try that. Generic, yeah, it was just too generic. SpongeBob Square Tape. Bum 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 All right, let's try this. If it wants to start, boom boom boom. Bum 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 bum. Neo Geo, Neo Geo. Look at this fucking asshole with the cat. We're gonna be, we gotta be the fucking dolphin. I would like to think that dolphin is flying this fucking plane. He is, right? He definitely better be. That dolphin better be flying this fucking plane right now. This is already way better. Way better. I, have, I think, I'm pretty sure I played these before. I played one of these. Was it the second one, maybe? Like I said, a lot of these shmups, I love shmups, but a lot of them blend together. I think I might have streamed the second one or something a long time ago. Maybe even this one, I don't know. I got a bad memory. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Look at this shit. And Super Mecha Death Christ. Rambo. A boom. Boom. This is a lot better than that last one. <laughs> That's what that, that's what's flying the plane. What the fuck? It's like so not fitting for a game like this, but it's just great. You gotta have something like that in there to mix it up a little bit, you know? Have a little bit of a sense of humor, you know? It's great. I liked it. This is good. Pretty good. 
I dig it, I dig it. Looking for a nice little shmup to play. Come on now. Bum ba dum bum 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 shit. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh my god. God. Fuck you. So how many arms does this fucking thing have? Fuck. Yeah, die, 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 die. <laughs> Alright. That's cool though. I played more of that. That one's good. I like it. I like Arrow Fighters 3. Good game. Uh, what else? What else is good? A lot of good stuff. See, there's so much stuff on Switch that's fun. Um, so many fun things. Uh, I, don't know, I played a lot of shit here. Uh, oh yeah, this is the Capcom beat 'em up bundle. This one was the is pretty good. It's the one, it's like there's a yellow Capcom bundle that I didn't like. Like shitty menus from what I remember. I don't have it on here anymore. Yeah, so here you have Final Fight. So I was complaining about not having Final Fight before, right? So there's Final Fight, King of Dragons, Captain Commando, Knights of the Round, Warriors of Fate. Armored Warrior. Like, this is all good stuff. But where is, um, do they have, um, Dungeons and Dragons, um, Tower of Doom and Shadow of Mastara on Switch? Like, are those on there yet? Battle Circuit? You want Battle Circuit? All right, I'll put on Battle Circuit. I don't know if they put those on there yet, but they should be if they're not. Oh yeah, this yeah yeah. So I went through a long time ago and I played all of the Capcom beat 'em ups, and I remember I remember liking this one. I think. Yeah, look at these graphics. They're phenomenal. <laughs> Money maker unit turn enemies into coins. I forget it's been a long time since I played this one. It's just n really nice colors, nice sprites. Like once again, like they got great artists back in these days, man. Look at that. Let's just look at how this game looks. It's just like this game. This game looks great. Must gamble, yeah. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, that's, I mean, that's a cool bundle. You know, it's fucking Final Fight. It's worth the price of admission, right? Um, I don't know. What else? Any other bundles you guys know of or anything? Dungeon Warfare is great. Dude, Fast RMX is a great game. Uh, and, uh, like I said, uh, where's Cruising Blast is really good. I'll throw, I'm gonna throw on Cruising Blast just a little bit, just so you can see it if you haven't seen it. Cadillacs and dinosaurs is in this thing too. Yeah. The only thing I can say about this, it takes a little like while for this game to load. But other than that, it's good.
Yeah, I did. Chubby catfish. It's like if Hydro Thunder and F-Zero had a baby. So I was trying to get the keys and shit in this. I don't have, uh, I'll have to do a whole stream on this. Maybe that'll be my next stream. But I'm trying to get all the keys. On the third one, I didn't get all the keys yet. This, I'm missing a bunch of them. So this is where I'm at so far with this, and I, I haven't unlocked that one yet, so I'm I'm trying though. Uh, I guess there's like one that has like the fucking donut. I should show you that one. Where is that? Uh, I forget. There's a stage that has like a donut that goes down the street, but um, here I'll just. Show you the Yeti one, maybe. I don't know. Oh, it's my car now. <laughs> I like my car, so I have a like level five. I wish you could like make the cars a higher level. So I think level five is max. Low time on Switch's balls. Yeah. You play this at Dave and Buster's, and it's the one redeeming thing because it's so fun. Yeah, I mean, I don't like Dave and Buster's either, but but I play this. Yeah, they had a Mario Kart uh, arcade that was cool. Ready, set, yeah, this game's awesome. You guys should get this game. It's really good. So you can like slam into the enemies, that's like, you know, burnout. It's kind of got a little bit of that going on. I think Elvis's car there, right? Gifting a sub to Rugged Zulo. Am I gonna put rocket boosters on my Mustang? <laughs> I would like to get around some of the fucking people on the highway. I got a uh, Donald Duck. Um, what do you call them? The thing that you put in the window? Sunscreen. I got a Donald Duck sunscreen for, for my Mustang. <laughs> So, hey, that's better than rocket jets, right? <laughs> Ready, set, go. Cruising. Drift, drifty drift. Yeah, get the fuck out of my way. Look at 
at that. Look at all the colors. It's so nice. like fucking rocket launchers on it and shit. <laughs> you wonder if this is more of a simulation game for Mike? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, wait, this isn't a simula driving simulation game? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> you're not, you're not kidding. Carfield cart. Ready, set. I did do a stream of Mario Kart 8 at one point uh, a while back. I like Mario Kart 8. It's a, it's a really good game. Wouldn't that be fucking sweet if they fucking... I mean, I guess that's why they did those, like, toys. Those, like, Mario... What is that? That Mario Kart, uh... Whatever that was. Like, those toys you can get. Like, the camera thing. Oh, that was a short course. I didn't realize. Second place. Mario Kart 9. That's what I'm talking about. I think it's, we're, get, we're getting to the point where I'm like, all right, it's about time for Mario Kart 9. I have a, I have a feeling it'll be a little while. If they are smart, they'll release a new Mario Kart as launch title for Switch 2. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. So, like, the Switch OLED is kind of like the... It's like the NES top loader, right? Of switches, I guess. Yeah, but yeah, the next console, we'll see what they do with it. Ready, set, go. Oh, there's a key behind there. Too late. Too late. <laughs> this is how I drive to Wawa. <laughs> it's exactly the same with no differences.
was the other key. Oh, baby. So that's one of the tours you can do. That's fun. And you keep going through them to try to get the keys to unlock more cars. But also, um, you try to take gold so that you can unlock new cups and then try to get to the next harder cup, which is what I'm trying to do, because this is still on normal. Unfortunately, I'm getting there though. Is it Wawa that has turkey gobbler sandwich or is that quick check? That is Wawa. Sangri GTF. That would be Wawa. Anyway, so, oh, that's the donut thing I was talking about. See, I'm trying to unlock, I, I want to do hard and extreme, but I might do it, I'll, I'll probably do a whole stream of cru cruising blast probably soon. Um, so, I don't know, what else? I think we played enough things for tonight. Um, I could keep going forever with this. Anyway, guys, if there are other um, games on Switch that are cool, as far as like arcade games go, somebody said the SNK Collection. Uh, somebody said something about Xeno Crisis. I guess I need to buy a, a Missile Command Recharge. Uh, Centipede Recharged is uh, really fun. Uh, I, I would definitely recommend that. Just make sure to adjust your uh, sensitivity. Um, this flashback classics thing seems like it has just like a ton of content on it, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, at some point, maybe I'll try, I'll try a Metroid Dread. I'll probably do like a um, cruising. I was gonna say cruising USA, cruising blast, and then maybe try a little Metroid Dread or something like that for the next stream, possibly. Oh, there's also this Vasara collection. I mean, there's just so much shit. Yeah, but let me know if there's any other cool like collections or arcade, old arcade games that I don't, you know, that I should grab on here. I just want to show you this real quick, this Vasara collection, if you haven't seen it. I remember this being good, too. If it wants to ever load, that is. Just go to the menu screen. We don't need to see this at all. Okay. Oh, this is not, well, okay, wait, this is cool, but this is totally not what I'm even thinking of. This is cool too. Wait, wait a second. I totally forgot what I was doing here. I'm thinking of the Psycho Collection. Hang on a second. That that's cool too. Hold up. I, I was totally thinking of the wrong fucking thing. Sorry. I'm thinking of this. Sorry. I'm playing eight thousand games here. This is what I was talking about. So this has uh, a bunch of shmups on it that are cool, like Zero Gunner 2 is a really cool one. This also is Dragon Blaze, uh, but if you've never seen Zero Gunner, I should just stream, like, do a stream of Zero Gunner. Have you guys ever seen this game? I'll show you this real quick and then I'm going to end. I haven't played this in a little bit, so I forget the controls. So I'm gonna be real bad right now, but let's see. Let me do this again. I can like turn something, right? Let's see. How do you spin the ship? Oh, it's like that. 
There we go. Okay, so you can turn your ship. Like, try to do it, like, kind of like that. Like, you can turn to the side, or I'll, I'll flip it around to the other side. So you're doing, like, a lot of flipping around in this game. But I played through this, and I really like this game a lot. I, I feel like on this collection, I think this was, like, my favorite on this collection. I have the Dragon Blaze thing separately, but, I mean, that's great, too. So, between Dragon Blaze and this... I mean, you know what? There you go. I'm, actually, I'm glad I put this on. Instead of getting just buying Dragon Blaze separately, if you buy this, you can get the Zero Gunner 2, you get Dragon Blaze, and then a couple other games. Uh, so, really, instead of just buying Dragon Blaze, you want to buy this collection. So, hopefully, maybe I can save somebody in here some money. If you're interested in, if you were interested in that Dragon Blaze game, but yeah, th this fucking game's cool too. Look at this shit, this is awesome. I, I have it on like an easy setting right now, like you can ramp up the difficulty and shit. Boom. Look at this. Dude, I love this. Like I said, I have it on an easy setting right now, but like that that game's cool. Anyway, I'm gonna stop now. I, I'm, I just wanted to show you that so you know that exists. Um, I'd recommend that too. Like so, Psycho Collection's good. Like Cruising Blast is good. There's just so much. Anyway, the double don't the Double Dragon the emulation on that's no good. Don't so I wouldn't get that. It's, I like Double Dragon, but that particular one is not very good. Um, the Rygar arcade is a little uh, on that, but anyway, we could look at this like forever. I'm gonna stop for now, guys. Uh, if you hear any uh, arcade archive stuff comes out that's really cool, be sure and let me know. Guys, I'm out for now. Hope you enjoyed the stream. I will see you next time for more games and good stuff. And oh, um, I mean, okay, and one more thing I wanted to mention. Um, so there's a bunch of stuff that I like I, I've been working on. There was like uh, Mario 2. I don't know if like like I feel like continuing Mario 2. If I get in the mood at some point, maybe I'll just keep trying it. I don't know when I'm playing like NES games. I feel like what I would do with that, like sometimes when I'm playing NES games, maybe once in a while I'll pop it on and give it a shot, and maybe someday I'll do it. But. Um, you know, I'm kind of like, whatever, I kind of want to move on. It's just kind of an annoying challenge. I'm glad I was able to do the first game, though. Um, Final Fantasy V, uh, I'm, I'm on the, like, last area of the game. I'm hoping to come back and finish that. Um, it's just I'm, a, I'm in a tough area right now. And then um, uh, Resident Evil... I was happy to play some Resident Evil because that's a series I don't really, I never really knew much about it. I'm liking the Resident Evil 4 quite a bit, so maybe I'll play a little bit more Resident Evil 4. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe if I get in the mood. Like I say, some, when I do streams, I always stream um, what I feel like right before I stream. Today I wanted to play old arcade games. So we'll see. Maybe I'll play some more Resident Evil 4, possibly. Um, because uh, I am enjoying it. Uh, but I, there's a lot of people in the comments. Like, I uploaded the first part of that, and a lot of people are saying, like, that they don't like Resident Evil 4. Um, I guess maybe because it's kind of different than some than the earlier Resident Evil games. I, I guess there's, like, is there a division in the fan base? Like, some people 
like like the second Resident Evil and some people like the fourth one or whatever. I was surprised because I thought like that was a game that was unanimously like loved, but I guess not. It seems to be very like um, some people love it and other people don't. I, I'm enjoying it. Um, as far as Resident Evil games, like I like I'm probably having more fun with it than any of the others that I've played so far, but. Um, Regardless, it's um, if I finish it or don't finish it or whatever, it's just nice to that I played a little bit more of it and I'm you know I know a little bit more about it now and I, I like it. So that's the GameCube one, and um, I feel like there's other games. Um, whatever, there'll be another day, another stream. We'll talk more about all this later, <laughs> guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I gotta go at some point. Hope you enjoyed the stream. I'll see you later. Leave me a message on YouTube or Twitter or whatever. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon. Bye.